What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here. Going to be streaming some PTCGO today. And uh, let's see. So this past weekend was the Oaks, Pennsylvania Regional Championships. That was a lot of fun. Did pretty well. Ended up 15th place at that tournament. So with Vika Ray. So Vika Ray is like one of my favorite decks right now. I think it is super well poised. Just went through and built a lot of the decks that ended up doing well there. You guys can see I have what? Uh, I have Xander's Zorark Banette deck here that I put together. So that was pretty cool. Uh, I didn't think that Zorark Banette was going to be super strong, but cool to see that that finished in the top four of the Oaks, Pennsylvania Regional Championship. What's up, guys? How y'all doing here today? Also, go at, uh, got here Poets Zorark Lycanroc deck. Uh, a lot of people were pretty hyped on Zorark Lycanroc heading into the Oaks, Pennsylvania Regional Championship. Ended up with the top eight finish at the hands of uh, Poet. I think it might have gotten two top eights. I don't really remember. So, yeah, pretty cool archetype as well. I saw Jimmy Pendarvis. I played against him. He got ninth at the uh, at the Oaks, Pennsylvania Regional Championship, and he was playing Great Ball in his list. So that was pretty innovative of him and pretty cool to see Great Ball seeing some play. Definitely a cool free search card there. Let's see, what other new deck? I just also built Caleb's uh, regional winning list, which was basically Zorark Garb with a 1-1 one -one Weavile. Pretty cool, pretty innovative stuff here. Uh, cutting to only three Shrine. Thought that that was interesting, and I think that that actually makes sense, right? Because there's like decks either play a Shrine counter or they don't, right? So if they don't, then three shrine is optimal like early enough to see it you don't you can't get away with like one shrine because then you could just prize it or never see it but three is enough so that you you see it but then you're not just like drowning in um, in shrines that you can't really get rid of because your opponent uh, you know doesn't really play a counter stadium so I'm gonna start off with some Vika Ray here gonna play the list that I was playing at the Oaks Pennsylvania Regional Championship I think this list is just super good I you know love the deck honestly I see some people online like asking is Vika Ray good is Vika Ray a legitimate deck um, yes uh, it is it is very much a legitimate deck I think the deck is super good and uh, you know I actually looking through like the top eight I felt like Vika Ray was honestly like pretty favored versus a lot of the decks that were in there and could have done well especially against the shrine decks uh, the only shrine decks that I lost to on the weekend were the Malamar Shrine decks and went 4-0 against the other Shrine decks, including Pissimian, which was pretty cool. Played against two Pissimian Shrine decks, so that was like a brand new thing to come out of the Oaks, Pennsylvania uh, Regional Championships. Didn't know that Pissimian was a legitimate threat. What's up, Dangus? Uh, so didn't know that Pissimian was a real thing until I played against it twice, so that was pretty rad. Uh, and also pretty wild. You guys can see I got a pretty sweet start here, uh, except for if my opponent can Guzma at a turn one. Actually, I don't even need to turn one Steven's Resolve. I can just go for turn one Fan Club, and you know I could turn two Steven's Resolve. I'd like to get the Steven's Resolve in here. However, I can't really just allow my opponent to knock out a grubbin either you know so if i just ultra ball for one grub and then steven's resolve then uh that's just like really tough so you know uh thank you abel for the feedback there uh, i've been working a lot on the quality of my videos lately i've been trying to do longer videos so hopefully you guys have been into that uh, i've been aiming for like 40 to 50 minutes you know best of three uh, not best of three, but like trying to get like three games in with every deck, uh, which has been tough considering that I go to grad school and teaching and all that. Oh, my opponent's going to hit me with the turn one judge. So this beautiful hand that I'm looking at here is uh, okay. So actually they are just uh, this is actually a really good hand. I know they've got the judge though. So it's almost like what's the point? But I guess, you know, you have to just do it anyway, though, right? Like, you have to say maybe they won't turn one judge me. But I think, like, what if I just don't play, I don't know, what if I just didn't play as a border? Would they still judge me? I think, like, yeah, we have to we have to do this. It's just, uh, it's only right. We have to get two grubbing down in case they knock one out. And then we are just going to Steven's Resolve, make them judge me. And, you know, I've done a pretty good job of pulling out of uh, <laughs> of judges. 
after these things so I'm not super concerned about it let's get ourselves uh, say you know we'd get maybe a Cynthia here an energy we definitely want an energy we definitely want a you know a supporter for turn two. I have Cynthia's where are they yes we would want a Cynthia and you know maybe we would want a mysterious treasure to go get a Pokemon like a Rayquaza sure we would get those things okay but incoming judge so uh, what's up guys thank you to everybody hanging out in the chat today appreciate it uh, what's up auto hanging out in the chat auto also played Vika Ray auto played Vika Ray we had uh, Riley played Vika Ray Natalie played Vika Ray and JW uh, played Vika Ray so everybody was playing Vika Ray at at the Oaks Pennsylvania what's up Alex Darnell hanging out in the chat as well thank you guys for coming appreciate it appreciate it oh I actually Hopefully you guys could hear me. I had completely forgot my uh, my microphone here. It was hanging out all the way over over there. So, you know, shows how how ready I am. Okay, so that should be a little bit better on the audio. I got the uh, <laughs> microphone is like in a more reasonable spot now. But it looks like we're getting judged here early. And this happens with Vika Ray literally all the time. There's like no stopping it. You're just going to get judged sometimes. And that's okay. Alex Darnell, thank you for the donation there. Appreciate it, man. Uh, definitely, definitely appreciate it. Much love. So let's see here. We've got a little bit of a tough situation. We would love to like, oh, they got the Rock Rough down too. And they're going to rise beating for knockout. That is like super brutal here. So that is definitely... A quick start from my opponent. Not very... Okay, so of course we do end up pulling out of it, which is fantastic. But I don't really have a great option to get this thing into the active position. I think uh, we are going to Valkner for a rare candy and a lightning. I think that's just like something we have to do. But then we are a little bit stuck as far as how do we get this thing into the active. So let's go ahead and Valkner. I think we could get a switch. If only we had a grass in our discard pile, we could just like Tempest this hand, but that's not really an option either. So I think we just need to get these guys here. We just like have to, we have to start accelerating into play. We gotta hope that my opponent kind of more or less has some bit of a dead hand going on as well. What's up Maple Dragon? What's up everybody in the chat? All right, so we're gonna go evolve into Vikavol here. Uh, no point in getting that active, uh, you know, the big fold into the active position. I think uh, we don't have an energy down, so that kind of feels bad as far as, um, let's do, okay, I actually, I know, I know what we do here. Uh, we actually just, we Tempest with the Rayquaza. Okay, so we're going to do that, and we're going to hope that they don't knock me out, honestly. So let's go um, here, yep, and then we're going to, uh, bench the Rayquaza as well. I think I'm not going to mill. Yeah, we're not going to mill that. Um, we're just going to bench that. We're going to say no. And then we're going to strong charge and we're going to get ourselves uh, the lightning in the grass. We're going to put the lightning onto the Grubbin. Let's see. So we put the grass energy on the Ray, lightning energy on the Grubbin. And then we're going to Tempest and we're going to hope we don't get Kukui'd. Uh, that would be bad. And, oh no, my internet looks like it is failing me. Don't fail me, internet. Hang in there. Uh, but let's see. Let's retreat into the Rayquaza here. And we're going to go for a Tempest. I don't think that I need this Shining Lugia in this matchup particularly. Now that I'm looking at it, I should not have gotten the Lightning off of the um, off of the, uh, the Volkner. But I wasn't quite sure what I was doing yet. So I went and grabbed it anyways. Now we're just going to give it a good old Tempest GX and ship this hand. Got plenty more Lugias in the deck, so I don't really need anything. Oh no, internet, hang in there. Hang in there, internet. I need you now. I need you today. I'm going to be moving eventually, so I will be eventually quitting this internet. Uh, but no, it looks like it's giving up on me. It's giving me a red signal. So let's see. Are you guys still uh, you guys still in there? Or is it just PTCGO that's quitting on me? Or you know, are you guys cool in the chat as well? That would be That'd be bad, but it's giving me a red X here. You guys can probably see that. Yikes. So we might have to try again. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why do we get booted from this? Are you guys still there on the chat? Are you guys all here? <laughs> so we just got booted from PTCGO. Why did we get booted from PTCGO? That was going to be 
bad. Oh, that was going to be a fine game. All right, we're going to try again. Hopefully, uh, we can actually get this going today. And uh, yeah, you know, hopefully we don't get booted again. So sometimes PTCGO does some, you know, wacky things. So we're going to give that another shot. And if it keeps booting me, then we might have to postpone the stream, guys. That would be that would be a major bummer. Not what I am trying to do. Yeah, people were people getting booted. OK, people in the chat are saying that they were getting booted. Natalie says she was getting booted. So that's unfortunate. Uh, that was going to be a little bit of a sketchy game, though. So that's fine. That was looking like kind of a tough start with like no energy. My opponent had like three Zork and I had like, more or less nothing going on. So we're going to give it another shot. All right. Let's go. So, gonna try it. You had to uninstall and reinstall PTCGO. Yikes! Uh, I don't. I ain't got time for that. So this is uh this is fine. We're gonna try Big Array again. People are asking, what should I play with Lost Thunder? I actually have no idea what is good with Lost Thunder. Play Lost March. Yeah. Lost March is uh looks like a lot of fun actually. Lost March looks like insane for those of you guys that have looked at the scans for uh, for Lost Thunder. It's like this Night March type deck, right? Except that you can like uh, throw your Pokemon into the Lost Zone and then you do more damage for the amount of Pokemon that you have in the Lost Zone. And there's like a bunch of Pokemon that go really well with it. There's like Trumbeak. I think Trumbeak is like the coolest. Uh, you get to just like toss Trumbeak into the Lost Zone. Uh, let's see, we got no basic in this starting hand, so that's a major bummer, but hopefully we don't get booted again. That was unfortunate, unfortunate. Someone in the chat asking if I play Fortnite. No, I do not play Fortnite. I played Fortnite one time, and uh, and I got 16th place, and then I, I will probably never play it again. Just it's not, not really my game, and I don't have enough time to get good at it, so... I would like to maybe one day stream some other games as well, especially when the new Animal Crossing comes out. Game is busted. All right, we've got a great starting hand here. This is pretty much exactly what you want. Got everything we need. And uh, yeah, so excellent, excellent, excellent. I think Lost March looks fun. I mean, it does, it definitely, you know, is probably not the next best deck in format. Probably just gets destroyed by any sort of spread deck for sure. Definitely gets destroyed by spread decks. You saw, uh, I, those of you guys, did you see? Did you see that there was a, there was a, uh, what, a Shining Arceus deck? It had one Shining Arceus in it, but it, a Shining Arceus deck did well in Japan. Won like a huge event, right? So I think that that is hilarious that a Shining Arceus deck did good. I mean, I was like stunned actually that that was a thing. Looks like my opponent is playing the Buzzwool Garbodor Shrine deck right now. So this is literally a perfect start for this matchup. And this deck has a fantastic Buzz Shrine matchup. It just does. I went 4-0 against these decks, uh, or I guess 2-0 against Buzz Shrine decks. 4-0 if you count the same. Oh my gosh, and this hand could not get better. Uh, so let's go ahead and we're just going to Pokemon Fan Club here. And we're going to get ourselves a Grubbin. And then I think we also get a Marshadow to help us draw some more cards. That's kind of just what we're looking at. We don't want to put any GXs down, so we're just not going to. We're going to get these guys. Um, yep, off of that. And then I've got myself another Lugia right here. So we're going to do that as well. Uh, yes, I am playing my Philly deck. This is my list from Philly here. So definitely think it is pretty good. And then, uh, yeah, we're just going to give it the good old pass Rooney to my opponent. See what they got going on. I know, uh, I think Riley said he played against a Buzz Shrine deck at uh, the Philadelphia Regional Championships. And he just, you know, had one item in the discard pile. And it was his rare candy. So that was, uh, that was it. Swag Otter says Shining Lugia is a $30 card right now. It's nuts. Vendors at the event were selling it for like $40 or $50. So this guy is quite the pricey uh, the pricey dude. <laughs> Actually, my, my friends were making fun of me because I was calling this deck, uh, what, I called it Aerial Beasts or something. I was saying. I put it on my deck list. I called it Aerial Beasts because you get to play. I was saying how fun it is that you get to play Shining Lugia and Rayquaza together and that they both jive very well together because they are both Aerial Beasts. Is that a beast energy? No, it's a unit. Can they knock it out? 
I was going to say, I don't think that they're knocking it out, right? Like this, this needs to not get knocked out. So, so long as that is not a beast energy, we should be good. So, uh, we should be good. Yes. Also, this is a Lugio. We call him Lugio because one day I was, uh, typoing, you know, Lugia I was turning into Lugio when I was trying to tell all my friends that we needed to buy, buy this card, busted Lugio. Lugio really gets in there. He's uh, he's very good. In fact, that was like two of my only losses at uh, two of my three. I only lost three times at at the Philly Regional Championships. Oh gosh, why do you have to do me like this? Ugh, this is come on. Could I? Could you just not? I don't want to ultra ball away energy recycler for sure. And I think I just have to ultra ball away these two lightnings. That's just like the way it is. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna get ourselves the Vika Volt. And we got the Rare Candy in hand. Got the other Energy Recycler. I could wait a little bit longer to play the Energy Recycler, and I think I will. You know, might as well be a little greedy. Sure, why not? I don't I don't need to play it yet. So let's do that. You know, we're definitely gonna get that into play. Then we are going to strong charge, and let's see, we'll have three more strong charges after this and we're going to throw some energy onto that lugia there just to get that loaded up and then ideally we just hit a guzma off of this let's go get me a guzma and then we're just rolling uh, we didn't have a guzma here but i actually don't mind just like going in aggressively let's see i want to like we're going to have to play a Lele to get out of this situation anyway. So we might as well do it now. We've, we're able to set up with no GXs, which is like super good. So let's just go in. Yup. And, uh, oh, thank you, Ruben, for the donation. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, and in this matchup, you can afford 1GX. So we're going to take our 1GX here. And we're going to hope that we can kind of just like roll from here on out. We are going to target down, I think... Uh, we could get the, I think we're just going to get the Marshadow or the Macargo. Sure. We're going to get that. And then, you know, we could just start manually attaching energy as well. So I'll put one here just to kind of spread things out. And then let's just Argent Wing. So I'm going to take out the Macargo there. And they don't even have like a shrine in deck uh, or on board yet. So they might not even get one for a little while. It's possible that it could take them a couple of turns. They discarded one, knocked out their Macargo. So now that I have the Lele in play, like that's a guaranteed two prizes for my opponent. But the thought is, is that I'm just gonna trade so well with what they got going on here for a while that it doesn't really matter. We only got three items in the discard pile. That being said, I don't really have a, you know, turbo awesome hand. So like, you know, we kind of are out here winging it for a minute, uh, <laughs> uh, kind of out here winging it. Some people in the chat are talking about uh, like best decks, like what's the best deck right now? Honestly, I don't think that there is one. I think that a lot of decks are competitive right now. Of course, my opponent like snaps back right with the, <laughs> with the second Macargo and then gets the Orangru out. So they're going to be doing whatever they want this turn, but that's fine. I think that a lot of decks are just very evenly balanced and that a lot of decks are good right now and you know just play the deck that you consider to be your favorite deck and kind of just play it to the best of your ability and i think that that will probably give you the best uh chance to do well so we're gonna want a supporter here like we're gonna need to get ourselves a draw supporter for sure and then we're gonna see how we go from there but i definitely agree that Malamar is really good. I think Vika Ray is really good. I think that these uh, the Shrine decks are all very good as well. You really can't argue against the Shrine decks. Like they definitely have been consistent. You know they've consistently done well, just winning back to back regional championships like that. This also looks like this could be uh, this could be Caleb's list. So I didn't really know that if the Weavile was going to be in there. I guess I kind of have to uh, anticipate that at this point, which is going to be much harder. You see, it is very hard to play around the Garbodor and the Weavile. So this is going to be tough, especially with them having an opportunity to one-hit KO uh, one of my Lugias. I hadn't really anticipated that, so that's that's not good. We're going to go ahead and charge up this Lugia, though. It's cool that we've got ourselves the... Um, let's see, I'm going to go on to my Sledgehammer turn as well. So we kind of want to save the fully charged Sledgehammer for 
later. So let's just go ahead and arrow force. We're going to knock this thing out, take a prize. Very good. Uh, my opponent is going to knock out a Lugia with that sledgehammer. Then they can knock out another Lugia with their Weavile. So I do have to be kind of careful. I think if they go in with Weavile, then I might have to just knock it out with my Lele and get the Lele like out of here. We need to we need to definitely get rid of that Lele. And we're gonna need to hit a supporter here before too long or else it's gonna get kinda ugly. Definitely just a Cynthia or a Lily or something like that. It looks like they might be gearing up for a Guzma turn and, and they might take out, actually I don't mind, literally unless they like take out a perfectly clean, uh, that would be the only thing that I would have beef with is if they take out a clean Shining Lugia, I'm going to be a little bit salty because then I'm like pretty compromised. Thing also has three energy on it, so we really, really don't want that to be the case. But I kind of had to start loading up my Shining Lugias just in case my opponent goes for the Vika Volt here. Definitely don't want that as well. But if they do just knock out my active with this Weavile here, that's actually kind of an ideal situation for me because then I could just knock out the Weavile and I take them off of their Buzzwole turn with a clean Lugia. I just doubt that that's going to be what they do. I think that they would be much better off Guzming this turn. So they're not going to Guzma though. They are not Guzming. They're just going to knock out the damage shining. Oh, okay, they are going to hit it with this puzzle though. Okay, so that's fine. As long as they got the switch, that kind of makes sense here. So now I have to be a little bit cautious. Um, you know, we do get to take out this puzzle here. Then my opponent just gets to respond with the Weavile. That's like super obnoxious. We can see how good that 1-1 one, one Weavile is in this deck. Thank you, goodness. Okay, so we've got ourselves a, that's good. We just go in with Cynthia. There's no reason to play my strong charge yet because we need to get somebody else. And sure enough, we've got it. Perfect draw here for me. Let's go ahead and rescue Stretcher. Put a Pokemon from my discard pile into my hand. We're just gonna get the backup Lugia here. Not him, we're gonna get the Lugia here. So we need that. And then uh, that's good, and we can strong charge. Uh, we do have, oof, we're running low on strong charge here, but uh, you know, that's fine. Hopefully we can pull something off of these prizes. I can also, I can Guzma something if I have to. I can also get a second Lele if I have to, but we can see how much that Weavile is just putting like a stranglehold on my, my game plan here. I was planning for the Garbodor and not anticipating the Weavile, so that is definitely going to prove to be tough. I should be able to knock out the Weavile though, so long as I can get past this one Weavile, I'm like good to go. I also just want, I need a Volkner for sure. Like just the Volkner would be so good because then I could get myself the Energy Recycler. Like perhaps I should have played that Energy Recycler early. Uh, but at this point, I have to watch my items as well. One, two, three, four. I'm down four items. So we do have to be a little bit careful. I can't Guzma and knock anything out. I need to take out the active Weavile, like at all costs, for sure. And I need to keep myself as at low of items as possible so that I don't get run over by garb. It is like crunch time in this game. I really need the deck to just like cooperate from here on out like give me another cynthia and i should be cool i think but you guys will see especially like uh, against the shrine decks your energy recyclers kind of are your like uh they're your most valuable resource you need the energy recyclers to get through the rest of the game just to power up multiple lugias especially if they're going down quick i don't think i would have I think I would have gone with like a Lele instead of the Marshadow. Like I definitely would have gone with Lele instead of the Marshadow if I knew I was playing against a Weavile version. But I guess you just kind of need to expect that that is going to be what you're playing against from here on out. So, oh my gosh, does that actually, that doesn't ruin it, right? I got no energy in deck. Oh my gosh, I needed to not top deck that. Literally anything else. That is so trash. Okay, so that is horrible. Let's see, okay. That was, you guys just saw a, one of the saddest plays of my life. Uh, that was that was horrible. So I thought, ah, no, 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 no. We are, we are like in a devastating situation here. 
So that's that's bad. I think. Hmm. How do we get ourselves out of this? That is that is just so rough. I think. Yeah, and I can't even like lele out of it really because I went ahead and I, I did do the strong charge just to check. So, oh my gosh, then what a horrible, horrible, uh, you know, series of events here. Let's see. So I think let's just Guzma up. Sure. Let's just Guzma up the, the Garbodor and we're going to put up our Marshadow. This is kind of like extremely suboptimal here. But I think that we just kind of hope that my opponent just knocks out the Marshadow. I don't really see myself like doing anything else right now. I kind of just have to hope that that buffs out. But oh, I can't believe I top decked that grass. I just had one energy left in deck. That was so brutal, uh, so tough. This Weavile is going to literally destroy me. That one rainbow energy is so rough, so rough, but it's okay. Alexa, Alexa already knows what to do. She just needs to queue up Despacito. We can just rock out to that and talk about our, our bad beats top decks. If they just if they have Guzma in this hand or if they have Acrobike and Macargo Acrobike to put Guzma on top and just to take out my Shining Lugia, that's horrible. If they knock out my Marshadow with the Trash Alanche, I should be cool because then I can uh, just knock out the Garbodor. Then I go down to two abilities in play and I, you know, then I don't get knocked out by the Weavile. So that's kind of where we're at. I think uh, I need to save my, I mean, I think like if my opponent does, you know, knock something out, can I do, I can do 80 damage, right? Yeah, two, four, six, eight. So if my opponent does knock out Shining Lugia, then I kind of need to knock out my opponent's Weavile with a Lele. And then I think I just kind of lose, but that's uh, that's fine. I think I just lose, and that's just that. But we're going to hope for the best here. So let's see if they if they can get a hold of the Guzma. They're stacking their deck. They have Kakui, so that's good. That means that I kind of have... They didn't get it. What is going on? Okay. So now, now we have an interesting situation. I think that I just go full steam ahead and kind of if I knock out the Weavile then I'm like out of energy though so I kind of need an energy recycler I think I just go hmm this is like a very tough call we're going to get uh, rid of that that's fine okay so I think here we need to get another Lele into play. Like I think that this is just like a turn where I just absolutely need to get something going on here. Uh, and I think I need to get, I'm either going to get myself a Guzma and then I could Guzma up the Weavile and knock it out. Um, in which case, you know, how many, I'm at one, two, three, four, five, six items right now. They play Kakui, so like, that's like not a super good number to be at. Let's go ahead and hit this short. And we're going to get ourselves, I think Volkner, he used Kakui and grabbed himself a Goose, what do you think? I think I need to get Volkner now just to get more energy into play. I think that that is just something that I absolutely need to do. So I'm like definitely not winning this game if I don't play an energy recycler. So I think we're doing that. Um, we're going to throw five energy back into the deck. Now that does put me in like a very tough situation because now I'm like, can fall victim to trash lanch as well. So that's kind of tough, I think, but, uh, I don't really have any other options. So we're just going to go here. Yeah. Cause we got to retreat this thing. Let's strong charge and we'll do that. We'll throw one energy onto the Lugia, one energy onto the Vika Vault. Sure. And we're going to go with that and hope for the best. So here we go. Let's retreat into Lugia and see how we do. We only got to take two more prizes. So I think so long as I can stream knockouts without getting just like back to back. Um, there's a switch. I don't know. But my opponent could potentially just go like lay, 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 knockout, knockout, and just win the game. So that's like kind of tough. But I think I just, I had to get myself something that turned with a lay, lay. I don't really think that there was any other way to do that. 
Um, but uh, let's see. Jacob says, I should let the chat build a deck and play with it. Nothing can go wrong. Sure, you're right. Yeah, no, what could possibly go wrong? So we know that they're going for back-to-back -back Guzma plays here. They kind of have to do that. Uh, I think they have to take a GX. They have to take it back-to-back. -back. So they should be, they honestly should be kind of like keyed up to win this game here. So long as they can go, um, so long as they can go Weavile, knock out one of the Lele's, and then so long as they can go uh, Garbodor, knock out the second Lele, they should be fine. But I think I just kind of got into a tough hand there where I more or less just had to do it. And I think just that top deck of the grass was just so miserable. But you guys can see, at least it, it is very close. Like me versus the Shrine decks with the three Lugia. It's extremely close here. So and I don't feel so bad about the matchup. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven. So he's going to knock out the clean Lele. Oh, thank you, Mega Man. Appreciate the donation. Thank you so much. Uh, he's going to take the clean Lele first, and then he's going to take the damage Lele second. He'll definitely be able to stack his deck with Smooth Over to make him shell. Make sure he gets the other... Um, you know, the other Guzma for a game. So it should be good to go there. But, you know, we're going to bring it down to one prize. It's about as close as we could hope for. So, you know, I am not, you know, not sweating that at all. We'll just grab the Lightning and we'll throw it onto the Lugia there. And let's see. I think then we should be good. Yeah, so, like, I can... Uh, I could take out anything with Rick Waz the next turn if I have to. I have the technology to get it done, so... That's just, uh, that's going to be unfortunate. I think my opponent's just going to have it. There's a Volkner. Could have used you a little while ago. They are promoting the Diancy. They got the Guzma for game. So close game there. Uh, definitely the Weavile with the Garbodor combination. That's something that I'd have to test more against. I haven't really tested a lot against that. Uh, and it's good to see, you know, Caleb's list does appear to be very strong. Uh, this looks like this is probably Caleb's regional winning list there. So good game to my opponent. Definitely well fought there. Going to roll up with some different decks now and try uh, try some other things. Pikachu's asking, is Delmize a decent replacement for Lugia? It's $40 and there's not even any for sale in my city of a million people. Yeah, uh, you can play Delmize. Uh, I think uh, Riley really likes one Delmize, a 2-1 Lugia Delmize split. Uh, I think that at least two Lugia is optimal, but if you if you don't have access to Lugia, then definitely try out the uh, try out the Delmize and see how it goes. I'm gonna run Rukan's Malamar list. I think this list is absolutely insane. I really love it. This is quickly becoming one of my new favorite decks in format as well. I think that just the escape boards are totally nuts in this list. You got the Marshadows as well. Just has so many options to get things done. It's just uh, just so good. Swag Otter saying that he collects Lugias. Uh, Lugia is definitely a collector piece as well, which is one of the reasons that I just think that that is going to be an expensive card. We are not starting. Oh, we're going to start the Deoxys. I did not see the Deoxys there. It was actually chilling behind my microphone, so I need to move my mic a little bit so I can see that. It's about to just jam that Mars Shadow into the active position. Not something you want to do, especially against a deck. You don't know what you're playing. Look at that. Lugia. Sweet. So... Looks like we might be playing against a Lugia, a Lugia Shrine Malamar deck. Uh, this deck was two of my losses. Two of my three losses at the Philadelphia Regional Championships was this deck, which just felt so bad because it was like, no, I helped make that deck, and then I'm losing to it. just feels so bad. But <laughs> and then I also lost to Jarrett Mesher, who's playing my Gardevoir or yeah, my Gardevoir Swamper deck, which just like felt horrible. So all three of my losses at the Philly Regional Championships were just to like uh, uh, were the decks that I helped make. So that was uh, that was rough, but it's all good. We've got a pretty dope starting hand here, though. Not gonna lie, we're gonna get rid of this Marshadow super early. We definitely don't want that. My opponent also has a kind of, you know, small starting hand. So I don't really think that I want to play the Marsh Shadow either. I think that I just want to go Mysterious Treasure, Mysterious Treasure, and then let's go just kind of like set up, I think. So we're going to grab ourselves another, probably a Deoxys actually, and then I have a higher chance of drawing into Inkays here. We're probably going to want to go with, do we have any way to like do 10 damage to this thing? Uh, we kind of need to like, poke these Lugias. I think this list, does this list play a Coco? I don't think it does play a Coco. So how do we deal with Shining Lugia with this list? Do we just Psychic it a bunch? I don't don't really know. 
Uh, let's see, we got an acro bike here. We actually did, oh, there's an ultra ball. That's very good. So we will also get to ultra ball some energies away here. That's good. And then next turn we can get ourselves some, uh, you know, psychic recharge action going on. So that's good. Get ourselves another Inke. And we're going to attach an energy to our Deoxys. Let's see. We play Mimic. Oh, Mimikyu's our guy. That's how we're going to knock these things out. We play Mimikyu. That should be pretty good. So we're going to want to get ourselves a Mimikyu eventually as well. We can't really take all of our knockouts with Mimikyu, but uh, we will take a few with Mimikyu. So that's good. That's good. All right. Word. Okay. That's fine. Let's go ahead and do that. And then we're just going to pass to my opponent. I could have retreated and like hypnosis. That seems a little cute. Don't really need to do that. Uh, what's up, Riley? What are you? Uh, what are you? What are you giving that face for in the chat, Riley? See, the Argent Wing. They ain't got nothing over there, so we're cool. Uh, we got double Malamar. We're good to go. We need to get ourselves a Mimikyu so that we can start knocking these things out. That's just kind of what we got going on. Let's uh, let's just Cynthia. What's up, Riley? Welcome to the chat. Riley is in the house, everybody. So, we've got ourselves. Uh, let's see, a Psychic Recharge here and an Attachment for turn. We can hit this thing for one. 30 but there's really no point in hitting it for 130 i think i'd rather just attach to the active here and then let's just go retreat and uh, i've got no free retreater actually so we're just going to psychic hit this thing for some damage 80 and then next turn we can hopefully psychic again and hit that thing for a little bit more damage we kind of just have to throw some you know non gx's up at this thing and hope for the best shadow punch is also an attack we could use that i just don't think that that's going to come into handy very well i think that that's probably not really what we're trying to do so here we go with Deoxys. We're going to get to Psychic again and take a knockout. But uh, my opponent, if they can stream Lugias, I think they might seem kind of, uh, you know, they might seem kind of favored here. So I think, I mean, yeah, I could have like double Psychic Recharged and like Guzman something. That kind of seems suboptimal. I'd rather hit a Psychic off of the Cynthia. If I don't, I'm going to be a little salty. So we did get one. We all, Oh, busted, busted draws, honestly. Busted deck. What more do you want? Let's go. Get me a friend ball. Get me, get me that guy. There, very good. Copycat is just so filthy good against Lugia. It is like not really, uh, not something that Lugia wants to deal with at all. It's like his worst enemy is getting copycatted, and that's what happened to me. I played against two of these, uh, you know, two shining, what well, shining Lugia psychic uh, Malamar shrine decks, and just got. Oh, Necrozma's immune, but he plays. I'm not gonna put Necrozma out because he's a. Uh, that's definitely a shrine deck. Like, dude, he could totally whoop up on that Necrozma with anything else. I'm not putting. I'm not putting the. Uh, I am not putting the Necrozma out there. Like, I know that he's immune, but, uh, but it's the the deck has got other options in it. So if I put Necrozma out there, he could easily just like bench a Mimikyu, or he could easily just bench a uh, he could easily bench a Deoxys. A lot of these decks are also playing Deoxys. So if he just benches a Deoxys and power blasts me, like then my life is over and I lose two prizes. So I'm not going Necrozma. I know that he's immune to colorless, but uh, most of these decks are playing other things to knock uh, to knock out Necrozma. So. I'm just, uh, you know, that's that's not gonna be how we go here. We're not gonna put another, uh, we're not gonna put another GX into play if we can. Now, granted, maybe my opponent is playing like my list. My list doesn't really have any other attackers other than Shining Lugia, but you know, and there's the shrine there. Uh, also, you just got no good way to stream attacks with the. Uh, you have no good way to stream attacks with this deck with Necrozma because. Um, you know, you kind of would want like two in play, uh, but just having the one out, it just would be more of a liability than anything else. So my opponent kind of misses the attack there, which is huge for me. We are just going to bring up something and knock it out. Unfortunately, we cannot copycat though. So we are going to have to figure this out another way. I don't really think that I can Guzma and knock anything out. We're just doing 20 plus 40. That's not enough. Guzma, we can't. Guzma, retreat. We can't retreat. 
Psychic Recharge, Guzma. I think I'm just in a tough spot. So I think that uh, we just, <laughs> everyone was yelling. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was pretty funny. So let's see here. I think we just go for a Psychic off of the Cynthia. That's kind of just what we are looking to do here. Let's just go ahead and Ultra Ball away these guys. And then I think that's just our best bet is to just get a Psychic off of this. We only got four in deck, but that's, uh, that's what we're going for, Riley. Yeah, we're going to look for that energy there, take a knockout. So we've got three acro bikes. We've got, you know, we've got some, we got some juice left in the deck. We can definitely make it happen. Oh, busted deck, honestly. Broken, busted completely. The doors are off this thing. There's no, <laughs> no chance. This deck is incredible, honestly. It's a GX deck that can play like a non-GX deck, like very smoothly. What else do you want? I think I do want a rescue stretcher. That's kind of the other card that I want right now, but I might, you know, I might wait until a little bit longer to, to play the acro bike because you never know we might just want to get a different card off of the acro bike depending on whatever my opponent does next turn there's a dawn wings which we probably will not be using in this game at all but it is there just in case uh thank you john uh says i'm the reason you got into the competitive game glad you you know glad you're loving it i love the pokemon trading card game i love uh you know i love hearing that other people kind of get into it watching the videos or that it is like renewed a love for the pokemon trading card game just watching so i really really appreciate that thanks for the feedback and uh glad that you too are enjoying enjoying the game here wow my opponent ain't got nothing going on so we're just gonna sit here and just shrek them into uh, oblivion here we're just gonna go get ourselves what we we don't have anything here i need a I need a rescue stretcher we could get another ink there's like no point in that so that's fine we're just gonna get that thing and then we're going to uh we're gonna acro bike that's fine give me an acro bike oh we got a guzma do i already have a guzma in my hand though like we don't really need that but I think that at this point, like we should be cool. I'm just like looking for, uh, we'll take the Guzma. I really am just looking for like more attackers here. So let's uh, see, how many energy do I have in the discard pile? Just one. I think that we just Guzma up a, honestly, we could soften that thing up. We could knock out the Oranguru. Probably gonna Guzma up an NK. And then we're just gonna retreat. And then I don't really mind like starting to psychic recharge uh, energy onto a Malamar as well. Like, cause that way I can like Guzma and knock out an Inke or, you know, I can knock out another Malamar with my own Malamar, which is like another way to take prizes. So let's just do that. And then I actually don't mind getting, you know, an energy off of this, uh, you know, off of this Malamar either. So I think I am going to just like double psychic recharge onto my Malamar here and then not retreating with the board. <laughs> Riley's mad that I didn't retreat with the board first. So we're going to go here and we're going to start doing this to get like double psychic recharge. Oh, I did it. I meant to. Okay. You guys saw what I meant to do. I meant to meant to put them all onto the same Malamar, but that's fine. We're just going ham Malamar this game. Like what, what more do you need? We're good to go. So that's, <laughs> that's, that's a mistake. It's all good. So we're going to, we're going to be able to pull out of this one just fine. So we're going to knock that thing out. There's really, I don't really want the NK down, so I'm not going to put it down. We're just going to power blast this thing. So it looks like we might be going ham Malamar with more than one. We meant to, I meant to psychic recharge them both onto one single uh, Malamar, but this is, this is totally, totally fine. Uh, actually could put me in a little bit of a bad spot if, uh, not a bad spot. I mean, I, I should just be totally fine this game. And potentially now that I like top deck that Malamar, now benching the NK just looks like really good, right? But it's all good. Uh, this, uh, if this Deoxys goes down, I am going for another Guzma play. I'm double, I'm going to double psychic recharge onto my Malamar. I'm going to Guzma something up. So like, that's what we're doing here. We're going to go with that. And then, yep. And then we'll, uh, we'll knock out this Lugia another time. So we're going to go here. Oh, busted rescue stretcher. We're going to go psychic recharge and we have to make sure to put them all onto the correct Malamar this time. And then we're going to go knock out. Uh, let's also psychic recharge another one onto the same Malamar. Very good. And then we're going to go and get an ink. Um, put that down. Uh, we're going to Psychic Recharge once onto the Inke as well, I think. Uh, that probably seems pretty good. And then if I put it onto the Inke, I mean, they're going to have literally, like, no, 
energy in play. So then if I do put it on the NK, then I have like free retreat. So that seems free retreat, right? So let's see psychic recharge the last one onto the NK there. And then I kind of want to save my Deoxys uh, or save my rescue stretcher and kind of like wait and like see what the ideal next play is. So we're going to go, we're going to Guzma that thing. And then, uh, yeah, we're just going to, we're going to Shrek this guy. So that's good. I've got free retreaters in play. I'm going to have like a bunch of Malamars. So like really we're just, we're just cruising here. And uh, I'm, I'm saving the stretcher for the Deoxys. Uh, see, Sky is asking me, why don't I stretcher yet? I don't need to stretcher yet. I don't think that my opponent's going to judge me again. Uh, and I think that I might want to stretcher for the Mimikyu back. So that's the reason why I haven't used my stretcher yet. I want to save it and kind of see what my opponent does. If they knock out, say like, Imagine a scenario where they do this, where they Guzma and Arrow Force my Mimikyu. Then I have, you know, no way to knock out the Lugia, and I feel kind of bad about it. Um, but then I could Rescue Stretcher the Mimikyu back and just knock it out, right? And that would feel pretty good. So let's see what we got. See, I told you guys, and here it happens, right? It's happening right now. Literally, he's about to do it. No, he's not <laughs> knocking it out. He's just going to Argent Wing. <laughs> oh, okay, so this is this is fine. Someone in the stream is asking, when do I stream? I stream kind of whenever I can. I don't get to stream all the time. So that's unfortunate, but that's just my life right now. I stream as often as I possibly can. I think I actually want to just retreat and hit this thing with Psychic Spear. Um, and then, but no, but then they can just Argent Wing me again, and that's a little bit of a pain. I think well, I only got two prizes left to take. Who am I kidding? Yeah, let's just, let's just retreat, hit this thing with Psychic Spear, and then we're going to go from there. Yep, seems good. My opponent knocks that out. I can double psychic recharge. I can hmm. Let's uh let's psychic recharge once to the yeah to the Mimikyu here, and then I'm going to be able to I could triple psychic recharge next turn. That's totally fine, and I'll save the energy in my hand so that I can knock this thing out with a Deoxys next turn. I think that that seems fine. So my opponent's got like four prizes left to take. I should be cool. But if they Coco me, that's going to feel kind of bad. But I could knock out a Coco, I think. So I don't know. It's going to be a tough call. So let's just let's just go ahead and Psychic Spear this thing. Uh, no, thank you, Riley, for responding. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to make it to Memphis, unfortunately, uh, just because it's like a 12-hour you know drive. It is just like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> feeling when Andrew makes the mistake, but his opponent has his back. It happens a lot. Yeah, it does happen a lot where maybe I don't make the ideal route, but it's okay. My opponent, you know, they're just going to toss the ball right back in my court. That happens all the time. So, you know, not really, not really worried here. I feel like definitely the, you know, going to need to get those Deoxys back into play, but I kind of want to wait and see what I, you know, about maybe rescue stretchering something different here. So they Argent Wing. I'm going to stretcher and attack with Deoxys. That's like what we got going on here. We only got four bench spots. I only got to take a couple more prizes. Oh, busted a skateboard. Okay, so let's rescue stretcher. Let's put a Pokemon from my discard pile into my hand. We're going to grab the Deoxys here and take a knockout. Then my opponent shouldn't be able to take another knockout. Like I should be cool. So let's Psychic Recharge twice onto that thing and then go from there don't attach from hand please <laughs> uh let's see yeah no i can i can just go all three malamar at this point i should be cool on that and then we're going to skateboard and then i actually want to just draw cards so let's yeah we're just going to do that let's draw with lily here first and see if we get ourselves some more interesting looking cards. At this point, I can just stretcher the other Deoxys back into the deck, but I don't really think that I need to do that yet. I think I'll just wait. Um, but let's just, uh, yeah, let's just do our other Psychic Recharge here onto the Deoxys. And then I think I want to kind of save these energies just to have in my hand, just to, you know, help me close out the game. So let's just retreat, and then we're going to, Power Blast this thing, 120 damage, should be good to go. I can put, honestly, I can put an escape board onto this Malamar as well. And like, if I want to retreat that energy off, like that's totally fine. So let's just do that. And we're just gonna Power Blast. I don't really think that there's anywhere I necessarily wanna put that energy right now. So I'm just gonna save it. And then if I had a Guzma, I could win the game. But you know, we ain't got a Guzma right now. Maybe if my opponent knocks something out, uh, I could potentially do it with uh you know 
with a, a Lele or something like that. I could go get Lele, Lele for Guzma in game. How many Guzmas do I have left, though? I've got plenty of Guzmas, plenty of Guzmans left. So I could do that. I could also go in and take a huge knockout with Prismatic Burst for game. So that would be pretty dope. If my opponent does knock out my active, I could just Prismatic Burst. So that's an easy way to end the game, actually. And, uh, you know, I just got to make sure... Yeah, I can knock out. <laughs> I can knock out uh, Lugias with prismatic burst. Just Lugia cannot attack Necrozma though, so got to be a little bit wary of that. But we should be should be cool here. You know, we were just able to keep my opponent's Malamars off the off the board, and now we just have game here. So good game to my opponent. Just gonna take this one with my Necrozma GX. Uh, kind of. You know, no other way. Let's see, did they they used Arrow Force? Oh, I could just do it with my. Let's do it with Mimikyu. I think it's probably just the best way to get it done here. Yeah, let's just copycat, copycat. Yeah, knock that thing out. So cool, good game to my opponent. Well played, and we saw. Oh, I didn't have the Lele in the deck anyway, so good thing I didn't try that. But yes, we saw the Malamar deck was able to get in there and was just amazing. <laughs> uh, Phil Guzman, is that really your name? I call uh, Guzma Guzman all the time. So that was definitely a good deck. That's Rukan's second place list from the Oaks, Pennsylvania Regional Championship. Uh, the GX attack can be sneaky. Yeah, the straight psychic build is more consistent. I agree. I think the straight psychic uh, Malamar deck is just super consistent. You saw there, I just had everything that I wanted every single turn. So let's, uh, sure, I can play, sure, I can play Zorak, like a rock. We're going to give that a try. Usually that's the kind of deck that, you know, would do better when, like, you know, Natalie comes and, like, watches over my shoulder. But, yeah, we're going to give that a try. And, yeah, I actually played against, like, a lot of, played against a lot of Buzz Rock decks at the, uh, at the Philadelphia Regional Championships as well. I think I played against three and it was just, it was crazy. I was not expecting that big of a turnout from Buzz Rock, but you know, I think that uh, I don't have Jimmy Zorark list, uh, Riley. I'm showing off the top list right now. This is Poet's list. I think Poet finished seventh. So, you know, technically, you know, he had the best finishing list, I think. So that is, uh, that just is what it is. I think that honestly, I, I like Jimmy's list. I prefer Jimmy's list the most, I think. And what's funny is that a lot of these, you know, Jimmy's list was not even playing a counter to Rayquaza. He just didn't really need it. He was just, you know, would go in. Oh, my gosh. So here we go. <laughs> here we go. Poets list. Yikes. Starting out with the Marshadow. This is fine. This is this is just totally appropriate. So we're going to go in. We're going to be able to get ourselves a, you know, a Pokemon here with. Oh, and we are playing against Sweaty Gross GX. So. Totally, totally fine. You know, we got Lycanroc. We're going to be Gucci. We're going to be totally okay. Yes, I'd like to draw a card, please. Oh, why could we have not have gotten this gentleman off the off the first the first seven? This is, oh, wow, busted Zerua's. Here they are. So Zerua's showing up to play. I think that, uh, honestly, I don't think that my opponent plays a stadium card. So I think that also doesn't. Uh, Devour Field helps Dragon Pokemon. Okay, so I think that I want to go in and get myself a Rockruff and attach this Fighting Energy to it. I think that I want to get rid of the um, probably the Devoured Field and the Choice Band are going to be my best bets, and then we're going to like end up palpating something else back into the deck. So let's go get that. Going to get ourselves a Rockruff here. And here we go. Attach Fighting Energy with Rockruff and Lily for a seven card draw. Pretty busted. Sweet. And we've got ourselves Multi Switch. We've got a number of other things in here. Uh, however, none of these <laughs> help us to get a, <laughs> help us to get a Zorark or another supporter. So I don't even think like playing the Pal Pad even does anything this turn. I think that we just are. Yep. Okay. Sure. Go ahead. You've got it. This is horrible. When Lily goes wrong, uh, right, right here. This is this is how it looks when Lily just goes horribly wrong, which happens all the time. You just Lily for a huge hand, and you're just like, oh, this is like the opposite of what I wanted here. But cool. Maybe my opponent will like judge me or something. Or maybe they'll just like let loose Marshadow me or you know something. No, nope, no chance of that. What's up, Dumos from Chile? Uh, what's up, everybody from other countries other than the United States? What's up? What's up? 
Tricky Jam Worldwide up in here. Thank you guys for coming to hang out. Appreciate it. I uh, actually have a lot of good friends from Chile uh, and uh, what, uh, Nicolas, uh, good friends with Nicolas from Chile, talk to him all the time. Well, let's go, we've got ourselves a supporter card, so I think even though we would like to Guzma this turn, we just cannot, we just need to get ourselves another supporter. And I don't think that there's really any switches in here, so I think that we're just like attaching here and we're probably just going to, you know, and we're just going to get ourselves another supporter. That's fine. Yep. So here we go. Yep. Get ourselves another supporter card. Sure. We're going to get ourselves a, can I ace a roll though? That doesn't really make any sense. Yeah. We're going to go get, what's crazy is that a lot of these lists are only playing like one Cynthia, right? Like low Cynthia accounts. Like what in the world? I was just like totally thrown off by that. Put the basic on Marshadow so you can escape. I plan on escaping here uh, eventually, but I guess like I probably would want to put the basic on Marshadow and then yeah, it's all good. Do that Marshadow is gonna get knocked out anyway, so we're good. Let's let's put that down. Let's put that there, and then let's. Uh, I'm not multi switching yet. I could multi switch, but you know we're not. <laughs> Riley says that I should have put the basic on Marshadow. I plan on like kind of guzmaing out of here, so. Let's see, we're gonna get that there. And let's also ultra ball away the, I don't think that I'm going to be, I asked, I will use Acerola, but just not yet. I think that we're gonna ultra ball away the Mallow. Uh, no, honestly, those. I'm gonna end up Acerolaing that active. Um, so let's just get that. And then, yeah, and then we do, you know, we would trade, I guess. So I think, Saving, well, we probably want to save an Ace Rolla for like a better card than the active Marshadow, though, huh? So, and trade the Fighting Ultra Ball Mallow and Zerua. I was going to trade away the, the Mallow. It ends up doing the same thing. So, that's just, uh, it's not a must. I don't I don't think that it's a must in Zorark, but I think that, uh, you know, more than one Cynthia seems good, right? Like, I definitely think that more than, more than one seems optimal. So, here goes my opponent. So this Ace Arola, the Marshadow is going to be pretty broken and since they're going to algorithm here. So that is just fantastic. And then they're going to be very salty that they uh, went ahead. Oh, no. <laughs> He's playing this guy. <laughs> yikes. Major yikes. So my opponent's going to GX. I'm going to Ace Arola, the Marshadow. And we want to... We don't have a knockout. My opponent's only got three uh, Pokemon down. We don't have a knockout on this guy either. So I uh, wouldn't go past two. Uh, you wouldn't go past two Cynthia, Riley. You're only at two Cynthia in Zorark decks. Why such a low count of Cynthia? I think Jimmy was playing like four Judge, yeah. So he was playing like a high Judge count. Uh, same as bad. Is it bad because you just you just draw all the time? That kind of makes sense. So let's. Uh, I think we're gonna trade first. Yeah, there's really no reason not to trade first. So let's let's trade first. Sure. And then I would like to like you know get something going on here yep nothing we've got nothing so let's just go ahead and ace a then i'm gonna ace a and then i'm gonna let loose again and we're gonna hope that we get into some better trade second i can't trade oh you trade second after the ace uh, okay why riley <laughs> i don't know uh i guess that's fine so we're going to oh my gosh <laughs> thought of putting the <laughs> I had such a bust to play. I'm sorry, Riley. Riley's Riley's sad, but that's fine. I think I want to just go in with this guy. Yeah, and then we're just going to, and then we're gonna hope that we just rip it here. So no reason to nest ball. We could ace rolla. What the lily, the mallow, and the ace rolla. I think I like that. Yeah, let's put these guys back into the deck. Let's get ace rolla and mallow back in. That seems fine. Uh, burn all the nest balls. Let loose and then trade. Uh, I guess you, you're right on that. Yeah, we are gonna burn the nest ball. So. Uh, done. So it's all good. Yeah, maybe my ordering wasn't perfect on there, right? But it's all good. We're going to let loose here. And then hopefully we get some Zoroarks and don't get punished. So looks like here that we may end up getting, uh, and this is why obviously it was better to trade second, but that's fine. I'm kind of like learning these things as I go. So here we go. Get out of here. We want some other things in our life, uh, mostly not those cards, and we want more Zoroarks. So that's good. And we hope that my opponent can't really set up from here. We're just going to trade the choice ban away. Oh, thank you, AJ Firetree, for the donation. Appreciate it, man. Uh, all right, so next turn we've got ourselves a Mallow, and that's kind of what we got going on. 
Appreciate it. AJ Firetree says, thanks for some of the best play-by-play -play -play content on YouTube. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, Riley just gets so triggered watching me play Zoroark decks because it's just like, <laughs> he just can't handle it. He can't handle it. He's like, no, that's not what I would have done. Re. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fine. You know, I'm out here. I'm out here learning. My opponent is going to play Hala, Busted Hala. They get to shuffle draw seven. So that is uh, that is very good off of this uh, Let Loose, but it's fine. This Poet's List is not played Judge. Jimmy's List was playing four Judge. So you can see the differences in Zorak, like Rock Dex. He also was playing, uh, was also playing, you know, the Great Balls. You know, wasn't really playing as many tech uh, attackers like that. Kind of just had uh, a lot of different stuff going on there. So we're going to Mallow. Looks like we might just end up getting kind of smoked here, which is a little bit unfortunate. I think we're probably going to end up going down a Zorak early. Um, I, you know, I can't heal this thing. I'm just going to have to Mallow for like a Lycanroc, and I probably will take out a Matang this turn, I think. Uh, but that's actually a little bit of a dangerous play. Uh, dangerous Rogue, uh, because let's see. So think that we trade first and then trade first once and then we're going to I'm going to kind of see from there. What's up Alexa Oxella? Thank you for the donation. It says Mahone, thanks for being a homie. Appreciate it. Oxella, so generous. Really really appreciate the love and support, man. Um, let's go ahead and Mallow and we'll get like a rock DCE so that we can just like take a knockout this turn. Um, so yeah, we're going to we're going to do that. So let's get like a rock and, or we could, you know, hit into the active, but then we could just like do all that for nothing, because then my opponent could just, uh, my opponent could just max potion it. They've only got a three card hand, and then KO or D Rogue the Metagross by retreating with DCE. Um, but we can't knock out with Dangerous Rogue. Um, so I, I, you know, that's 230 just feels like really bad. So I think that we just Mallow for the Lycanroc and the DCE just to take it. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna do that. All right, and let's trade again. So we're going to trade the, uh, probably the rock rep. Yep. So, yeah, we ain't got Diancie out, so that ain't happening. So let's just take it. Let's take the Metang out here. We kind of just have to, like, slow things down a little bit. Thank you, Sky, for the donation. Well, you want to see Vika Ray or play a good Ray deck? Can do so. Let's just uh, let's go ahead and ride a speeding this thing, knock it out. Thank you so much for the donation, Sky, and thank you guys all for the donations so far. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, definitely helps keep this channel uh, up and rolling. Uh, definitely makes a huge difference. So thank you guys so much. No guts if you won't mallow for another Zorak and trade into DC. You're right. You're right, Riley. I don't have. I don't have the. Uh, you know. I don't have it like that. So my opponent puts down the Oranguru, and that's actually really good for me that they put that Oranguru down because that is going to be another non-GX target for me to try and uh, you know to try and get myself back onto even prizes here. I feel like generally though this is kind of a tough matchup. 250 hit points is just not something that my deck uh, can really take out here. It's just not kind of in the cards. So. Definitely, definitely a tough go at it, especially with this Ultra Necrozma here. There are two different ways, really, to play Metagross. I feel like you have to play. That is a very good prize for me, Riley. You have to play some way to take big one-hit KOs, and I really like, you know, the Ultra Necrozma is one option. You can also play the, let's see, what do we got going on here? So we can, we can like, Guzma and GX the Ultra Necrozma. I don't, like, super mind that. Uh, I think that we could go in with Lele and get Guzma to do that. Uh, that kind of feels fine. We could kind of just wait and see if my opponent like puts something down. Um, very good. You passed for two. <laughs> the match was very good, but I passed for two turns. Uh, you're right, Riley. I started the wrong man. So I feel like I want to go for Guzma here. But like, let's see. I think Guzma would be good. Lele for Kakui and Dangerous Rogue. Uh, Oh, I guess, yeah, yeah, that probably made more sense, huh? So you guys are totally right. I should have done that, but I wasn't really thinking that way because I don't play these decks. So that was just like a mistake on my part. I still can do it. Just now I have to retreat a DCE, which feels like super bad. But I think that we probably do just still do that. So thank you guys. Uh, I know you are too late, <laughs> Riley. But I think I could still make it happen with two. I mean, if they take two more GX knockouts, they win anyway. So I think we just go in. Uh, we just go in and make it happen. So let's just trade first a multi-switch. Sure. We'll trade that and get two more cards. 
got ourselves a Lily and a Zorark. Uh, I feel like I'm going to just go in and get the Kukui first here. And let's just make that happen. So if the Kukui is not, yeah, we do got Kukui in deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just make that happen. We're going to force this play to happen. I think you guys are right. I'm always looking at the chat when I'm playing Zorark decks because it's just like, you know, I don't always make the best plays. So here we go. We're going to, um, yeah, we're going to, let's see, trade away one more of these things. I feel like I could just trade away the Rock Rough and that'd be fine. Uh, and then, yep, we'd be cool. We can rescue stretcher those things back into the deck. Uh, we've got ourselves devoured field. Don't really need that. Yeah, let's just let's just go in and just do this hard mode. So, retreat, like a rock, and uh, let's just dangerous rogue GX. So, busted. We got the knockout there. We should have promoted it. Saved ourselves a DCE, but this is fine. Uh, we'll be we're gonna be totally cool. Yeah, we're gonna be totally a okay. You know, we just uh, gotta hopefully not get like knocked out or anything crazy. Uh, but actually, that's probably exactly what's going to happen here, is that my opponent's going to knock me out with that Ultra Necrozma. We've got one more copy of Kukui left. Uh, we do also, our Pal Pad is down. So I think, what do we do? We do a perfect 180 with Choice Band, Devoured Field, and Kukui. So that's not, you know, there's really no way to knock out this Ultra Necrozma, unfortunately. It's just not, <laughs> not really, uh, you know, not really a good thing going on. So let's see, my opponent's going in with the two Psychic, discard all Psychic, yeah, 80, yep, yep, yep. So they're gonna get it, and they're gonna have just one Metagross. At this point, it doesn't really matter. I think that they'll probably be able to kind of just shred whatever I've got going on here in the active, and it's just gonna be really tough for me. And, uh, you know, I think that they're just going to respond fine from getting all that stuff knocked out. So the choice band there, super clutch. They've got 220 damage. And then meanwhile, I just am running out of options to knock things out in one hit. So this is just super, super rough here. Uh, sure, we need to do some damage somewhere. So let's go in with this thing. And then I think that we could uh, rescue stretcher for some things back. Uh, I think that... We kind of more or less need to find an energy. Let's just like timer ball, try to get some things out of our deck here. Uh, two heads, okay, we've got nothing in our deck. That's good, I just wanted to take a look anyway. We've got one DCE and one fighting energy. So that might not be enough to get us through the rest of the game, but we are going to try. We need to find the one DCE or else it's pretty much game over. So you can win since you discarded all your bands. Oh, I can't win. Uh, you can, I can't win. I think Riley meant to say can't win. Can't win since I discarded all my bands. Yeah, so let's uh, let's put a Pokemon from a discard pile in my hand. Sure. I'm going to get myself, I feel like I need a Rock Ruff. Uh, yep, and then we're probably going to need, let's uh, see, I know that my Lycanroc's not in deck though, so I think that maybe we just get ourselves another Zerua. That's fine. We know that we're going to need to just like Guzma for a game anyway. So then let's just uh, let's just start by trading. I know that I don't have any Pokemon in deck that I can get. Didn't want to shuffle more Pokemon back in. So there's just, uh, yeah, there's just kind of my options are more or less limited at this point. I know that there's no Pokemon that I can thin out with that. So let's just trade again. Uh, we're going to trade away Devoured Field. Don't really need that. Uh, oh, I have the Lycanroc in hand. You're right. You're right. <laughs> I was like, I was like, yeah, I don't have Lycan Rocks left. It's in my hand. He's a rainbow rare Lycan Rock though, so take it easy on me. All right, I didn't get it there, so now we have to try and like get it by other means. So we're going to just like play down all of this stuff here. It's friend ball. Take a look at my deck. Uh, I don't have Cynthia, so I think I kind of have to go in with Kakui and just like hope that we get it. So I think that makes like the most sense. Other than playing Lily, like I don't think that I can Lily. So. Let's just, uh, I think we're going to Lele and go in with the, uh, yeah, go in for Kukui. That seems like the best play for me. So, yeah, let's go in. Let's try to hit it. DCE with the Kukui. I don't even have any Acerolas left in deck, I don't think. Is there a Acerola? I don't think I saw it. So, let's see. How many Acerolas do I have down here? Just, oh, none. So, I should have Acerolas in deck. Let's try it. Kukui. Oh, we got the DCE. We are just very good at this game. There we go. All right, so we're going to ride as beating, and then we're going to hope that we can, uh, yeah, we're going to hope that we can kind of knock it knocked out this turn. That would be very good. So you can Lily, which is two, which is better than Kukui. I don't think it's better than Kukui because I think I take a card out of my deck with the Kukui, right? So I Lele, I thin my deck by one, and then I get two, right? So I think that I think that's better. I, I don't really know. It's a tough call. Oh, Max Potion, stop. That's not what we wanted, but. It's all good, yeah. The max potion. You guys saying in before max potion. You're right. There goes the max potion. So it's fine. We tried. 
Um, then you get busted Zerua. You're right. I would have gotten the busted Zerua, but I don't know. I mean, we, we ripped the energy, though, so it's fine. Uh, I know. I always revolt against Riley's r wisdom, you know, but that's just what we do when we're playing as Zoroark decks. We just out here winging it. I have, like, never, ever played a... I've never played a Zoroark deck in... Uh, oh, that's just 210, isn't it? Oh, busted. My opponent got to Max Potion and... Not, all right, we're putting out... We're packing up the Zoroark decks. We're going to pack them up. And there they go. Okay, so I'm not playing <laughs> no more Zoric decks for the rest of the stream. I'm going to play decks like Malamar, which makes me, you know, decks that make me feel good. Like Malamar and like uh, Vika Ray, decks that make me feel good inside. Unlike Zoric, which makes me feel bad. Makes me feel really bad. Uh, who wants to see Empoleon? We could play Empoleon. Busted Empoleon deck. Empoleon is a lot of fun. Let's see. Uh, I did have someone who donated ask for Vika Ray though, so we're gonna we're gonna honor that donation and we're gonna get some Vika Ray action up in here and you know try to redeem my uh, you know, try to redeem that uh, that ugh, ugly uh, try to redeem that ugly Zorak loss there and see how we can do with our best friend Vika Ray. It's like my favorite deck. So fun, so fun to play. And Polion, I could play Swamp Polion. We've been calling it Swamp Polion. I actually don't have uh, I don't have Beast Box built, unfortunately. I did open my two boxes that I got from the regional championships, though, and I did get myself another stack attacker. So potentially uh, there could be some you know could be some things. Looks like I might be playing against a Guardy deck. I don't know. They're playing a Fairy Sleeve, so like never try to you know try to assume things, but could be playing against a Guardy deck. Feel like this is probably bad news if I am playing against a Guardi deck. Nope, looks like Marshadow GX, so I have no idea what they're playing. We'll figure it out though. If it is, let's see, Nest Balls, I don't really know what they are playing. I guess we'll see here. Oh, it looks like Malamar, they're playing Psychic Malamar deck, so this should be a pretty good matchup here. I think definitely is kind of a, a close one. Uh, there's a couple things I can do with this opening hand. I can go turn one and just Cynthia, or I could go turn one, Lele, get myself just like, uh, get myself the Stevens resolve. So it's definitely, you know, definitely a favored matchup for them. They should be cool. They should be able to kind of come out the gates. And they might even be able to get a turn two, like 180 on my Rayquaza. This deck just draws like that good. So, oh, it's a shrine deck. What in the world? I didn't know that. All right, so you know sometimes you get the old pump fake there, and you never know what you're gonna see. So that is interesting. I might, I might go in and this looks like why are they playing Marshadow and Shrine? Uh, the world may never know, but this is not a good matchup for me. This is very bad. This is very very bad. So let's see what we got going on here. I think that I might go. Ultra Ball away some things, and then try to just Cynthia into a grass, and potentially get myself like a Tempest could be my best bet. I don't want to put a Lele down, so I think that that's probably what we're going to do. We're going to Ultra Ball away two Guzmas here, and uh, I'm going to save my attachment, my energy attachment. I think I just want to get a Lugia down. Oh, thank you, Clown Sniping, for the donation. Appreciate it. it. says, you are my favorite YouTuber. I love your content. And what deck is good building right now? By the way, first donation ever. Appreciate it, Clown Sniping. Appreciate it. Uh, I think the best deck, honestly, just build Malamar. Like the second place Malamar deck that I showed off on the channel a couple days ago. It's just super good. So we ain't got it like that right here, but that's fine. This this hand in my this hand that I got going on is actually very good. So I'm not super concerned about that. We're just gonna attach that to the active and we're going to pass to my opponent. I don't need to Tempest. So Guzma's more valuable than a lightning. I hear you, Riley, but I'm just telling you that in the uh, in the games that I played, Riley at uh at Oaks, it, it came down to energy versus this deck. It just came down to the fact that I could not stream enough energy versus their Deoxys because Lugia actually trades pretty good against Deoxys. So I was being a little bit greedy there, throwing the two Guzma away. But I'm telling you, if I get into a hand where, oh, you beat Malamar, all right, Riley. I'm telling you, if I get into a hand where I can't, like, can't, uh, you know, take a knockout with energy, I'm like, I'm just going to lose. So. We're going to see, you know, maybe if we can be a little bit greedy there and get rid of the Lugias. But 
definitely uh, it's a tough matchup, but my opponent starting the Marsh Shadow should be kind of cool here. And we are going to want to get a turn two knockout here. I think we're going to Volkner. Uh, we're going to get probably just a lightning energy and then some item that we want to discard uh, because I have to Ultra Ball some things away. And one of them is going to be the Switch. Oh, that Malamar is actually really good. So I think we... Volkner for, okay, we get a lightning and a yada yada, okay. So I think that we're, I think we're good here. Let's, let's just go in and I could Ultra Ball away the Volkner. Actually, I actually kind of like that. Let's just do that. Yeah, so that's another way we don't play a supporter for turn. We might be able to play a better supporter for turn. So let's Ultra Ball these things away here. I'm gonna go get ourselves a, uh, gonna go get ourselves a Vika Volt. And so this is like a little bit sketchy because I could whiff energy here, which would be bad. Uh, but we're gonna just, we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna be a little bit greedy. We just need to do 120 and we're gonna let loose. So we're gonna strong charge after we let loose because we want to draw into an energy, which we got. So that's very good. And we can just attach the energy, strong charge onto, you know, one onto the, uh, one onto the, let's see, I got a second. Yeah, yeah, I got both. So we're gonna get both. We're gonna attach the grass, probably onto my Lugia here, the lightning onto my, Ray Ray, and then we're gonna Lily for a draw of four. Get myself a little bit of a new hand here, and this hand's looking pretty good. I'm kinda, I'm kinda cool on that. And then let's just Dragon Break, knock out the Deoxys. So we gotta hope that my opponent is not going to be able to like knock out the Ray this turn. That's honestly the way this matchup kinda goes, is I just need like the Ray to take two knockouts. If I can get the Ray to take two knockouts here, if I can get the Ray to take out, I mean, I don't think yeah, with a choice band, I think the, probably my opponent's going to be knocking me out here. So they're doing two, four, six, eight, one, ten. Oh, they're definitely knocking me out with the Mars Shadow. But that's cool because then I can go in with the Lugia and a three energy Lugia knocks out my opponent's Mars Shadow. And I like just kind of spring ahead in the trade as well, which is very good for me. I suspect that my opponent is trying Mars Shadow GX in their Psychic Shrine deck because... Uh, Right, that's what I'm saying. It is okay if the Ray gets knocked out, just if the Marsh Shadow is in play. That's what I agree with you, Riley, there. But I think that they're probably playing the Marsh Shadow to try and increase their uh, their Zorark matchup. The Zorark matchup can just be kind of rough. Uh, but, you know, that's what see. Riley says, KO the Malamar, leave the Marsh Shadow. I don't really want to leave the Marsh Shadow. I feel like, uh, I guess I could knock out a Malamar. That'd be kind of busted i guess but then what if you know the marsh shadow not really going to knock me out so i guess you're right i kind of like slow down their streaming of attackers if i can target malamar here which is a good point they're also getting an orangaroo up and going so that's interesting they're probably going to want a flying flip like they want to definitely soften up these lugias here like for sure um but let's see and then this sword of dawn is also very good okay they're just ditching they're ditching it entirely and they're just going for the knockout there so that is very interesting i think that i actually am not super scared of this orangaroo so i actually kind of like the guzma play here but i might want to kill the orangaroo and let them <laughs> right all right that's what i'm saying i'm gonna save my guzma for later and we're just gonna let that marsh shadow ideally we never attack the marsh shadow that's like kind of an ideal scenario where we oh busted i have both my guzmas in hand so i think here that i just i'm just gonna fan club and we're just gonna get some other basics into our hand just to kind of thin my deck so we're gonna go grab those just to have them and i love fan club because you get to just put the pokemon in your hand that's like pretty busted so that's very good we're gonna strong charge twice we're gonna throw uh, two energy onto the Lugia there can knock out the Orangaroo without any further investment And then we're just going to attach one energy to my bench shining Lugia there. and we're just gonna hard to win for knockout. So uh, That's what I'm saying. I've never punished Riley never pun I knew that Ultra Ball and the Guzmas away would just be totally Gucci get an energy off the prizes busted Maneuvers, so we are we're in cruise control here. We're cool. We're playing a Lugia deck basically basically a Lugia Shrine Vika Volt deck. So uh, let's see. Let's see. Say hi to Andrew. Say hi to Andrew. What's up, Dankus? I already said hi to Dankus, Riley. I don't think you were here. I, I told the whole chat to say hello to say hello to the Dankstankerist. But 
Definitely appreciate it. Appreciate everybody who's in the chat. Appreciate everybody who's donated. You guys are amazing. Uh, I've been doing these things on my Patreon lately, so shout out to all my Patreon subs as well, uh, where I do a weekly deck discussion every week where you know you guys can ask me questions about certain decks. I post a new deck list every week, and they're always like the most up-to-date deck list that I have for any deck or tournament winning deck and things like that. And you can ask me questions about that deck every week. Uh, I also drop some things earlier on my Patreon sometimes. Like I dropped the Shining Lugia Spice on Patreon about a, two weeks before I released it on YouTube. So you guys could have seen that. There was people playing the Shining Malamar Lugia deck uh, at Cups and stuff. And we're playing my version of it at Cups uh, just from the Patreon because it was like part of the uh, War Turtle tier on Patreon is that I, I showed off this kind of spicy rogue deck that I was working on at the time. But then uh, then I had some people contact me from Brazil and said that it was their secret deck from Brazil. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so funny. Uh, and I ended up getting two top 16 or two top 32s at Brazil as well. So we have got the Mars Shadow here. I think that, uh, you know, I could just go and, and Guzma around. I actually don't mind just, I'm just going to take the, uh, oh, thank you, Oscar, so much for the donation. Appreciate it. I'm just going to go here, and I'm going to strong charge. Whoa, give me the strong charge, please. I would like to strong charge. Yep, two energies, and we're going to throw, um, I think I'm going to throw one onto the the Lugia, and then I am knocking this thing out, right? Yeah, I'm definitely knocking this thing out. I'm going to throw one onto the Vika Volt as well. Uh, I just am so good to go here for the rest of this game. I don't really have anything in play that I don't want, so... We could just Argent Wing this thing and just be totally fine. And then, you know, we could just take two Guzmas back to back to, like, take the game-winning knockouts here. We just have to attack with Shining Lugia, and then we can, send, we can finish the game off with Vika Vault if we have to. Oscar says, thank you for the videos you make. I need uh, help on the best sleeves for my deck. Oscar, a lot of people really love uh, Dragon Shields. I think Dragon Shields are probably, honestly, if I have to... If I have to suggest a, a sleeve, Dragon Shields are the most durable uh, sleeves, and I use them on all my old decks. They're really great. I use them for my cube as well uh, here, and they come in a bunch of different colors. They come in matte or glossy. I think the mattes are generally accepted to be some of like, the bested sleeve ever, but I personally use Ultra Pro mattes at tournaments. I just like the thinner profile for the sleeves, but as far as suggesting them to other people, it's like, yes, I do recommend them, but, you know, uh, they do tear a little bit easier and they get marked up a little bit easier as well. So you have to take that into, into consideration. Some people really like uh, Promat Eclipse sleeves. I'm not the biggest fan of Promat Eclipse sleeves myself, but some people really do like them. So that's just like kind of personal preference there. And, uh, you know, I think so, you know, if you're choosing between Ultra, Ultra Pro pro matte sleeves and also if you're choosing uh between that and uh dragon shields then you're in a good spot those are kind of like the two you know penultimate sleeves in my opinion uh i also <laughs> brian's asking do i double sleeve or do i pair back sleeve uh i do not double sleeve and i don't recommend double sleeving either i just think that it's a uh, it's unnecessary clunk added to your deck so i don't think that that is optimal in my Humble opinion. All right, so we've got three energy left in deck. Uh, we've got Lele, but we're not going to play it yet. Let's just go get, yeah, we're going to do that. And then we're going to, I'm not, I'm just going to like save things. We're going to strong charge once onto my Vika Volt. And then I'm going to save Lele for, um, I'm going to save Lele for Volkner for our energy recycler for like my final turn. There's really no reason to do anything other than that right now so yes riley says the elite trainer box sleeves are like razor blades to your hands uh yes i i agree ultimate card also not a fan of ultimate card sleeves they're kind of like oily and, and feel kind of gross uh but uh let's see oh zach saying full group uh full group i think he means full grip is the is the best uh, i agree Full Grip, shout out to Full Grip Games. They were at the Philadelphia Regional Championships as well, vending there. Uh, so shout out to them uh, just for putting on an awesome booth. Uh, you know, both have a lot of friends, you know, Jameson, Matt Price, and uh, Sean Lydon all work there. So shout out to them for just doing an awesome job supporting me as a content creator, supporting uh, a lot of my friends as well. 
uh, with some pretty sweet gear. You know, we got to wear, you know, we were representing them, wearing their shirts, and all my friends work there. So, like, really, and and I have a partnership with them as well. So, really, when you support Full Grip Games, you're supporting me as well and also all our friends because they support us as a shop and we support them as a shop. Like, And, and it's not like this kind of empty thing. I don't want to call it a sponsorship because it's more than that. It's not like we just, uh, you know, we wear their shirts because they, like, you know, give us a, a buck or two or whatever. It's more like, oh my goodness, I didn't really anticipate all this. So this is kind of a lot going on here. I did not anticipate the kind of the Necrozma GX power play here <laughs> from my opponent. Uh, major yikes, dog. So major, major yikes. I kind of need to figure out. Uh, I need to figure out a play then, because we just need the. Uh, now we need. We're not knocking that Necrozma out. Uh, there, to be fair, they are also not going to knock out my Vika Vault either, though. So, like, I can't put down a GX, though. So I kind of need to, like, hope for something else. So let's just put up the, let's put up the Grubbin. And I think, I think I can. Oh, that's actually kind of busted. Uh, so we just got it. We top decked into it. Yeah. So I should be, <laughs> I should be able to just strong charge. So we're good to go now. All right. So we top decked this time. Unlike the last time, I uh, where I kind of uh, top decked into the loss. Uh, I just top decked into the win there by getting that extra attachment for turn. So that was very good. And then we just get to electric cannon for game. So yeah, that was kind of crazy. My opponent went in with the power play. They realized that they kind of had to because they saw the Vika Volt getting chow like kind of charged up they knew that that was going to be you know my end game play so it was smart of them to go in with that guy uh but they were going to take 10 20 i mean really i could have just gone in and just attacked into the uh attacked into the ultra necro or to the necrozma there for 150 and then they would have been at 170 and if they just uh literally never punished or anything, i should take it in the game uh, uh that is not true riley sometimes i do get punished uh definitely Definitely get punished sometimes. All the time. I get punished all the time. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at our decks. Greeting from the Caribbean. Thank you, Isa, for hanging out with us from the Caribbean. It's awesome. Wish I lived somewhere nice like the Caribbean. That sounds that sounds just lovely. Let's see what else we got going on in here. Oh, oh, I want to play the Metagross deck. Let's play, let's play the Sweaty Gross. Wanna play Sweaty Gross? Uh, is what I want to play. I don't know what do you guys think. Let's play. Aaron Rucker's Metagross deck. This deck is a lot of fun to play. It's got the busted non-GX guy in it. Looks like we are playing against potentially Zorark, Lycanroc. Greetings from Malta. What's up? Greetings from Akron, Ohio. So, uh, looks like we're probably playing against Zorark, Lycanroc, and uh, we're going to see how we do here. Oh, thank you. I don't know how to say this person's name, but they're saying that I have a very good deck. Okay, I'm going to say hello going to give them a good old hey there buddy what's up so i think that uh i think metagross is cool i love the deck i think that it's a lot of fun to play i love the steven's resolve in here love starting lele that's great you know no problems here but this is actually a pretty busted starting hand so i'm really just not concerned like at all this is totally fine and then we can kind of go from there but yes we are playing against the zoric deck i definitely expect this to be zoric like a rock yep and it looks like that's what we get. I think that this should be, honestly, this could be like a fine matchup. We just have to have some things kind of go our way here. Uh, we need to just not get picked off into oblivion here from the opening hand for sure. So we've got to get ourselves as many bell domes into play as well. Oh, and we've got the busted Solgaleo in this list. Oh, it's so good. Um, so let's see. I think that we're just going for the turn one Lily here, though. Like for sure, we just need to get kind of stunting as much as possible. I don't think that I'm going to go for the Stevens Resolve. I think that we're just going to burn those cards and kind of just set up as much as we can with Lily, which is a little bit high greed. But we've got another Stevens Resolve in here if we end up wanting it. So we're going to do that. We're going to get ourselves a bunch of Beldums here because I feel like my opponent's setting up very well with this like Rock deck. So they could very easily just go in like turn two and just, you know, kind of make the dream happen here. But, you know, they could also just very easily knock out my Tapu Lele turn two since I'm going to just, you know, with Dangerous Rogue because I'm going to try and get, like, a lot of basics into play. So uh, we just have to. There's really no other way uh, around, uh, around it. We just kind of have to do this. So let's see. I've already Ultra Balled away one Guzma. We don't want to Ultra Ball away too many. I feel like 
you know, I don't want to just like serve them up the, uh, I don't want to just serve them up the Cosmog here, but I kind of, I like, I very greedily want to have that Cosmog in play. Then I can Ultra Ball one more thing here. I think I Ultra Ball away, probably, uh, it's a little high greed on the Guzmas getting rid of so many, but I just want another Beldum. If they want to go and they want to use their GX on my Lele, like they can be my guest. That's like totally fine. So if they if they don't, you know, if they GX my Lele, great. That means that they're not GX GXing something else. So that would be very good for me. Expect them to go and knock out like a Beldum or my Cosmog. The Cosmog's kind of like the uh, the obvious pick there. Cosmog is the only thing that can really knock out everything in their deck in one hit. So if I get like that Solgaleo into play, it's just gonna be completely great. Uh, if I don't, you know, then we're kind of stuck two-shotting the Zorks. They play Ace of Rolo. I have a bunch of options and things like that. But we're going to go in. We're going to evolve into Matang. We're going to hope we top deck a rare candy. That would be insane. What's up, Brian? Thank you for the donation. And, of course, uh, glad uh, glad to help anytime. Appreciate it, Brian. Thank you for the continued support and just to the general awesomeness all the time. Appreciate it, Brian. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we're going to go in and evolve my Benched. Um, Beldum there, and we're going to Cynthia. Hope we get rare candy Metagross so that I can GX. We didn't quite get there. Uh, let's see, we do have a rescue stretcher though to get one of my men back, so that's kind of cool. I think that that actually seems kind of fine, but I don't really want to play the rescue stretcher yet. I think that we just go here. Uh, there's no point in using core beam, that just seems like horrible. So I think I just weirdly retreat into, um, yeah, let's try Nest Ball again. I think that I, re I retreat into my Lele, and then I just hope that my opponent, like, knocks out the Lele. Like, we're just going to hope that they do that so that then maybe I can, like, rescue Stretcher and uh, get something else going on. So oh, my opponent gives me the mad face because they're mad that I continue to get that, uh, is Vulpix? I was going to say, I don't think uh, the Vulpix is in that deck. Yes, I don't even know that Vulpix is in the list. Uh, might not be in there, but I didn't see the Vulpix. So, yeah, we just out here chilling, hoping that we, <laughs> we can get uh, Rescue Stretcher for Lele back. That just, uh... oh, no, stop it, honestly. Like, just being so mean to my Cosmogs here. All a man wants to do is, you know, get a Solgaleo into play. Is that so wrong that, that that's all I want? Uh, I think that, uh, or Dank has changed it. <laughs> Did Dank has changed it? A third Rock Ruff. Get out of town, dude. We do not need more Rock Ruffs out in here. You are just sitting here picking us apart. This is miserable. And we can see how, how cool this matchup can be if, like, if Metagross just sets up slow and if, you know, Zorak Lycanroc just does everything it wants to do and, you know, doesn't start someone suboptimal. It's just, like, getting out here early, just doing everything it wants to do. I think we have to just, like, dream, right? Like, at this point, we're just dreaming. We're just, like, top deck. Come on. Come on. Give it to us. And we got it. Yep. So I knew it. All right. Busted top deck. Let's go. And let's see. So we need to get ourselves a Shweddy Gross. And uh, I don't want to Ultra Ball away any of these things. Uh, but that's kind of life. I think that like we're only winning if we get like, ugh. Okay. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, I think we're gonna Ultra Ball away the Rare Candy and the Max Potion. And the Max Potion is just really good. So I think maybe we just like let, we just accept that the Cosmogs are just not coming out to play this game. I think that's probably the situation. Uh, candy and max potion. You think so, candy and max potion? That's fine. Now, there are more max potions in the deck. But I think that, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I really like the idea. I really like the idea of just uh, getting the max potion there. We only have one max potion left in the deck, so it's kind of tough. And we had another rescue stretcher left in the deck, so we're going to do that. And we're going to say that we're just going to rescue stretcher, I think, the... Yeah, we're gonna just like put the we're gonna put the man right back up, right? We're gonna say like, all right, we're getting it this time. So, you know, ain't nothing you can do about it. And we're going to algorithm. Uh, we're gonna schmalgorithm. All right, so let's geotech systems first onto the active. Yeah, yeet. And then uh, here we go. Let's uh, schmalgorithm GX. All right, so hopefully he doesn't knock out my man. And we can get some things going on. We're gonna get ourselves a sweaty gross. We're gonna get ourselves a Sogalio. We're gonna get ourselves a couple of rare candies, um, or oh, one rare candy, 
And then we're gonna get ourselves a Cynthia Holla. We're gonna get ourselves a Holla. Busted card, honestly. And then we're gonna get ourselves another um, energy, probably. Yeah, that's all seems very good. So we're gonna get all those things, and then we're gonna play Holla, Busted Holla, honestly. Very good. Very good. And we're going to attempt to uh, knock this guy out. So we need my opponent just not to have the third like a rock, which would be insane. Or we need them to not have Guzma to knock out Sir Nebbington again. But if he does knock out Sir Nebbington, that's fine. That means that I'm getting kind of a free attack and my opponent puts himself at an odd prize again. So that would be, you know, that'd be fine. It's not great. We definitely need to just get out Solgaleo. We need to like blow two things up just like immediately. It's just what we need to do. There's not really any other options here. So what do they get for the, oh my gosh, they've got the third Lycan Rock. Who's playing three? Who's playing three like a rock? Looks like Natalie's here. Shout out to Natalie. Hi. Uh, Natalie is in the house. Surely they cannot go okay, oh, three heavy <laughs> back to back to back. Natalie's here. What's up? Hello. So, uh, yes, it appears as if they did get the busted knockout on the third Nebby in a row. So, oh, no. yes, I know. I keep putting. Uh, what, Pendy, Pendy played a four three line? What did you spill? Uh, the the sweat from my sorry guys the sweat from my my drink is getting all over the desk <laughs> and it's it is starting to starting to leak Here. no no leaking all right this is fine uh, all right Mick Guyerson uh, being a total Guyerson about my uh, about my nebby there and I don't I don't like that so that uh, that hurts so there's a coaster. I think I'm going to actually just we're gonna rare candy the Beldum here that's that's fine. Wine, uh, and then we're gonna holla. All right, so here we go. So here we go. I got a coaster. Don't worry, Mizu. Here we go. So we need our other rescue stretcher if we wanna, you know, get the dream team out. So this is this is totally fine. We've only got, you know, we've only got ourselves like, you know, one max potion in deck. But oh, what more did we need? So we're just going to. Oh, Natalie did get me a coaster. Busted. So, you know, busted girlfriend. Honestly, like broken, broken girlfriend. So that's great. We've got ourselves three Metagross into play, but at what cost, honestly? What At what cost? We've lost three Nebbies who just would not stick at all. So this is uh, oh, brutal. Oh, and here comes the Dangerous Rogue. <laughs> the Dangerous Rouge. Oh, but three <laughs> oh, He's already no. down three prizes and hasn't even Dangerous Rogue yet. Yes, has not. That's ugly. <laughs> it is it's ugly. not good. He took out three Nebbies with three Bloodthirsty Eyes back to back to back. He's been drawing absolute fuego. It's insane. <laughs> But uh, it's uh, it's it's fine. This is fine. I only plays one Ace Roller, one Pal Pad. I could stick this out. I'm gonna have the Dream Team board position here. So you know, we I think we just go for Guzma, right? Like we just knock out that we knock out that boy just like right now. I think we just take him out. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna knock out the uh, yeah. We're gonna knock out that man over there. And then at this point, yes, we can't put down any non-GXs. So we just need to, we're just going to do that. Yep. So let's just, uh, let's just bring them out. Bring them out. So that's, uh, that's cool. And then, uh, yeah, we're just going to hope that my opponent can't knock out any GXs from here on out. I have like, um, you know, I've got a Lele left in deck. So like I can Lele maybe next turn or something like that. I don't think there's any place, any reason to put this energy anywhere. Uh, we just got a Geotech Systems. And, no, oh, we got a Giga Hammer. Take a knockout. That's what that's called. Giga Hammer. So there we go. Four to one. Uh, we just, uh, you know, might need to hope to hit our Max Potion. A hey, busted Max Potion, honestly. So that is good. We just need to kind of, like, exchange around between our three Metagrosses here. So let's see. Oh, they are playing the Great Ball. Busted Great Ball, honestly. They only have one Guzma left in deck. So that is very good. I need to, uh, oh, come on, give me a Guzman. Oh, I can take out a Lele. I just need a Choice Band and a Guzma. But it looks like we have three Guzma down, so we might not even have other Guzmas left. Uh, it might just, <laughs> which is like, then we definitely lose. So that would just be, that would be very bad. Why do I have a filthy top deck? Did they have a filthy top deck? I was going to say, I don't feel like I had a filthy top deck. I feel like I am just out here uh, being, you know, Sir Grindy over here just trying to grind out these wins where my opponent just has like their entire hand available to them in their deck. They're going to Guzma. Oh, I see what they did there. Do I not have three energy in the discard? I had two. So that's a little bit sketchy, um, though 
I think I just uh, I think I just Cynthia and hope I draw into another. I max potion Cynthia. Um, filthy prize card. That's what I think. So I think I just go. Yeah, we definitely have to max potion that. That's good. And I think I'm gonna ultra ball away the. Uh, yeah, probably ultra ball away the metal, and then I hope I just draw into another one. Uh, I know, but I only have one energy in the discard pile, right? I only have one. I can only accelerate one, so I have to get rid of the second one to accelerate two. So that's uh, that's what I'm that's what I'm looking at here. So I don't think that that Delmize really matters. I definitely am not playing that Beldum down ever. So um, we're gonna go let's see how many energy do I have in deck? Three. Okay, good. So that's that's fine. Uh, I think that there's really no other way of doing this. No, I have one in discard rally. Yeah. So think uh, yeah we're just uh, we're just going in and we're gonna go ahead and Cynthia. That's just uh, busted play. All right, let's go. Come on, go Cynthia. Get us get us an energy. Honestly, busted busted draw. Who needs you know who needs anything else going on? Here we go. We've got ourselves double. Uh, Geotech systems here, and now I know my opponent wasted a Guzma to like not get a knockout, so that's like very good for me. And maybe they'll like burn too many, so that's good. I also have the Lele in hand and Max Potion, so that's like very good for me. That's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. We've got barely enough going on here, and this is kind of like the typical I feel like Metagross situation where you just uh, if only you didn't ultra fall away every single Guzma. <laughs> Does the list only play three Guzma? That would just be bad. Uh, the Psychic is for Tapu Cure. That is what the Psychic is for. So let's see. Uh, I think I saved. You know, where is this list? Where is the Malamar list? How many Guzmas? Or how, where the the Shweti Gross list? How many Guzmas do we play in here? I don't know. Uh, probably not four Guzmas, though. So we're probably just in a bad spot. But I forget how many we play. Okay. So, oh, busted. They have the uh, damaged one active. Now we're, like, really in business. So. Uh, three Guzma's pretty standard. Probably is three. <laughs> probably is three Guzma. That's fine. They ain't got it like that. We're just gonna be able to retreat this guy. Yep. They've probably got. I imagine they just have Guzma in hand. Yeah, they probably have the Guzma in hand. So we're just gonna go and we're gonna heal this thing, and then we're gonna Cynthia. Yep, sure. Let's just Cynthia. See a new hand here, and I think we need. I wish I could get the Nebby into play. I just cannot. We cannot do that. So that's just bad news. Yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna take this guy down. Giga Hammer. It's only three Guzma. No. So sad day. I think we're out of Guzmas, guys. So I think that there's probably no way that my opponent just lets me like win this. There goes the full picks. We got another max potion though. So I think uh, you know we just uh, kind of try to stall this one out as much as we can. I don't. Oh, I think we're just going to be a little bit too little, too short. I needed to not get rid of that extra Guzma, I guess, but I thought that maybe the list played four. Uh, I think my opponents played two, so they probably have four in the deck. Uh, they probably have four, I think, so it just is a tough situation. I have no way of looking at my deck, really, without going in. It is. It should be three Guzma, though. I don't think that there's really, you know, I don't think that there's a fourth Guzma in here. So I think that I'm kind of just stuck here at the end of the line. Uh, but I don't I don't have my choice band either. I would definitely need choice band. So my, my opponent's only playing two Guzma. Oh, it's Jimmy's list. Oh, there goes the Guzmas back into the deck, though. So rip, I think that they, they have it now. So that is, that's tough. I thought that they played more than two, but I guess that it, Jimmy's list is super greedy. They have the Amigo pad. Why is it the Amigo pad, Riley? Uh, the pal. Oh, I get it, because Amigo is Spanish for friend. Oh, that's uh, pal, and it's pal pad. All right, I get it. I get I get the joke there, Riley. Very good. Um, so my opponent's going to judge me. You can win. Uh, they can't knock you. are right. They can't knock me out in one hit, but they're going to try. So they have two Guzma left in deck. The thing is, is that I know that they're just going to have Guzma. I know that they can finish the game off with a choice banded uh, thing there. They're doing enough damage to, to do so. So, huh. I actually can go, I can just like hope they don't have Guzma. Uh, I think that that probably is bad, but we have to hope that they don't have it for like longer. At this point, I don't think that there's any foul play in putting my Lele down. I don't think that that like loses me the game any easier. So let's just like let's just put the Lele down and take a look at the deck and see what we got going on in the deck. We've got Cynthia. We've got Lily. And that's it. Okay, I've got two rare candy, candy, a rescue stretcher. I've got no way to limit them. 
I've got two energy left in deck. What if we just go for if they here's the thing. Okay. So let's let's just get ourselves to Cynthia. Sure. I think that that's what I'm saying. They can't KO the Lele, so there's no point in not. Uh, I think that let's take a look at my deck with Nest Ball real quick. Uh, I think that if I I could go rescue stretcher. Uh, for like Nebby here on the turn where they, if they win they have Guzma anyway I can rescue stretcher for Nebby safely right so I think that that is like the play honestly is on the turn where Guzma would win them the game anyway we just like oh I already benched the Vulpix so that I don't know what I was thinking that was an accident so like I just I just punted it but I didn't mean to bench that Vulpix so that's that's fine I think like they were gonna win it anyway if they just had Guzma so at this point, we just uh, we just accidentally just put it down. So that's just uh, <laughs> didn't mean to put that down, guys. I didn't mean to put that down at all. I was just like thinking, and it just and it just happened. So that was just uh, my bad. So he has the Guzma anyway. He just like put them back into his deck. So I think that that probably is just uh, that's just how this game's gonna go down. But unfortunately, uh, he he kind of revealed to us that uh, that he has the Guzma anyway. So this was going to be our last hit. We were only going to make it one more turn. So he was going to be able to go in. And I know that he's got other Zoroks in the deck as well. So that's unfortunate. He had the Guzma anyway. So he's going to end up winning the game. And there's really nothing. I was out of juice in the deck. So we just went a little bit uh, too far behind too quick. I did not mean to put the, I didn't mean to put the Vulpix down. So that's my bad, guys. But oh, well. That's fine. We were going to lose that game anyway. Very, very close. Uh, I think the busted third Lycanroc was just insane. I was never able to get anything to stick. Uh, you guys, I actually lost to my own Guardy Swampert deck uh, in day two. Or not day two, in day one. I lost to my own Guardy Swampert deck. This exact list, actually. Played against uh, Jarrett Mesher at the Philadelphia Regional Championships. Uh, playing this deck, he took out a Curlia and added a Coco. So... Let's uh, you know. Let's give it a spin. I I love this deck, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give this deck a spin. And see if I can uh, see if I can beat some things. I don't know. There's not nearly enough supporters in this deck, which is hilarious. I was asking Riley and friends like if I could play. Uh, so this is now uh, I've changed it to Jarrett Mesher's Guardy Swampert deck because he took out the the third Curlia for the uh, for the Coco, which I actually you know I guess I kind of like. I like having a free retreater. It's very cool. Can I do 2006 old school deck profiles? Yes, we will be getting to 2006 stuff. I am. Uh, <laughs> this exact list proceeds to change the list, yes. Uh, I will be getting into playing 2006. Natalie and I will be getting into doing that. Uh, I am getting ready to move, though, here shortly. So I will not, uh, let's see, busted deck. Honestly, I do have just the turn one. So long as I can get myself, um, my, so long as my opponent benches something, I can get myself a turn one Sylveon here, which would be very good. Hello to my opponent. What's up? So Jarrett actually did end up finishing uh, in day two. I think he was top 64 with the Guardy Swampert deck. So the Guardy Swampert deck, not bad. Not bad. I think uh, I was getting a lot of hate from <clears throat> Riley was giving my Guardy Swampert deck a lot of hate but it's uh it's actually actually not that bad so it's uh it's pretty cool you know i was happy to see it uh, actually do pretty well that was exciting for sure and i love that it has 230 hit points that's just one of my favorite things i love is a big big pokemon can take big one hit chaos uh definitely definitely love that sean what housewarming gift would i like oh just your friendship and also uh your help moving my stuff sean that would be the best uh, that would be the best thing that you could uh, do for me. That'd be great. That'd be awesome. A toaster. I ask, also Dankus is right. I don't, I don't have uh, a toaster. So, I yeah. Have a toaster. Natalie has a toaster though. So I think we're gonna be cool. Uh, I'm gonna get Mahone a sweat Mahone a sweaty gross for housewarming. Oh, thank you. I would love a sweaty gross. That'd be great. Looks like we were playing against Psychic Malamar. I wonder if this one's gonna throw out. Oh, we're getting turn one. Let loose. No, stop that. Uh, do I want some spoons? No, I have a very appropriate amount of spoons and plates for a human, uh, which is two. I only need two. Why would you need more than two I of every... Forks, an appropriate adult amount. Why do you need any more than two of any uh, any silverware? Real talk. The other day, I was sick, <laughs> and I was like, I was like, Andrew, do I have a fever? Like, can you feel my head? So he like, feels my head. He goes, I have a thermometer. I'm like, man, you got two spoons, but you have a thermometer in your house? <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> totally fine. It's completely fine. 
All right, so yeah, so we're gonna go in here. We're gonna get some gentlemen back into the deck, and we're gonna get ourselves Mr. Sylveon. Honestly, busted deck, busted card. Let's get the full art Sylveon. Busted Sylveon, so good. And that's what I'm saying, like who needs more supporters? Honestly, this deck is completely broken. Uh, completely broken, so. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying, you know. <laughs> Two spoons, one for each hand. Very good, the hero, I, I agree. This guy, right, the Riley's got it right. This guy. A <laughs> busted deck, oh, it yeah. is a busted deck. Ooh, what is Dude, that, Marshadow? Cardi that Swampert, uh, that is a promo oh, Marshadow, cool. yes. There are promo Marshadows. So that's what I'm saying, because here's the deal. And I think that, you know, probably some people in the chat can relate. Is that there's just, you know, if you have more silverware, that means that you're just going to leave more silverware in the dishes. And then you're just going to let, like, that build up. And it's just, it's all bad, right? So you want to have, uh, you want to have, like, as few silverware as possible. So that you're constantly, you're constantly being forced to, uh, that's what I'm saying. Brian, Brian is with me. Two spoons and one thermometer is more than enough possessions for any one man. Oh, I agree. Wow. This is just my apartment. This is my, no, Natalie is over all the time. This is just my apartment. Who needs more than two spoons? I'm just saying. If I have friends over, they could bring plastic spoons or something like that. It's, it's wasting space and resources. That's what I'm saying. I have guests over all the time, almost every weekend. I just never end up needing them. Honestly, broken deck. Let's go. We're going to bring up a, a Shmalimar here. And we're just going to go and we're going to set this deck up. Magical ribbon, magical ribbon. Let's go. We're going to get ourselves a Schwamp Daddy, a Gardevoir, and then also a Cynthia. Broken Cynthia, probably. Uh, my opponent's got a three card hand. They ain't got too much going on. Yeah, let's just uh, let's just do that. I don't think that they're going to smack me, so I think that that's good. How many plates do you have, Andrew? Uh, I have plenty. Four. I have like four plates. Yep. <laughs> broken decky says that he goosemas. goosemas with the dead hand so that I can magical rip. Yes, it is a broken deck. Honestly, look, dude, we're about to tear through this thing. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, no, not really. I think that uh, that's probably just not not really. No, I don't think that's what that's what most people do. No. So let's see. They got an escape board on the Malamar. Two spoons with four plates. I know. I just inherited the plates somehow. Somehow I just ended up. With a lot of plates, I didn't feel like I needed all the plates, but they ended up. He's in got my, more than two spoons because I brought house. multiple spoons over. Natalie time. keeps bringing silverware over, and I keep telling her to get these things out of my house. Oh, my God. I don't need that much silverware. Listen, it's just it's cluttering up my space. I tell her I'm going for the bachelor feel here. It's just in the bachelor feel. <laughs> just only the required necessities. That's it. Do you need a Tupperware, Riley? I always need it. I always need a Tupperware. Riley left me a Tupperware one time. I bought Tupperware for here too. Natalie also was just like honestly busted girlfriend. She bought me Tupperware as well, which is nice because then we could keep leftovers. And she's also cooking dinner tonight. Honestly, the best girlfriend I could ever imagine. It's like so broken. Thank she's you so, for stroking my ego. <laughs> she's so so broken. I'm streaming. She's cooking dinner. She buys me Tupperware. I mean, honestly, what more do you what more do you want in life? It's pretty much ideal, ideal situation. <laughs> she is. She, Brian says she's destroying the plastic field of the man house. Get your silverware out. <laughs> oh, I I agree. Uh, Riley says, chat, the first time I ever came to Andrew's house, I gave him two Tupperware. <laughs> it's true. I still use those. It's true, Riley. We definitely still use those Tupperwares. They are very valuable. Thank you for your contributions, Riley. All right, we're going to wear candy and a smarty Riley board here. His, his Honestly. His paint debut, he brought over cookies and stuff. So good, yep. <laughs> and uh, a dip. We're going to Cynthia here. Honestly, busted DCE. What more do we even want? Let's go ahead, and we're going to power draw. God, power draw is so good. Let's go. Busted deck. All right, so now we're going to ultra ball away. Honestly, you know who we're not going to need? Probably this Dankus, what's up, my homies? So, what's up, my homies? Don't we're worry, he has plenty of, now. Uh, we're going to get rid of these gentlemen here. We're going to get ourselves a busted Curlia, honestly. There we go. Broken Curlia into the deck, into the into play. There we go. And then we can uh, attach DCE. We're going to just, we're going to send this. Swamp or, yeah. oh, dude, Fairy Wind, Broken Fairy yeah, Wind. Yeah, honestly, we're going to Fairy Wind here. We're going to throw us a fairy energy onto that smarty war here and then uh yeah let's fairy wind 110 busted uh brought you cookies and cannoli dip uh he did he brought riley was such a good a pleasant house guest uh you 
I'd never had the dip. He he's right. He brought me a plea. I'm not gonna plea, Riley. That seemed horrible. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna plea. I'm just gonna trade with this guy. We're gonna get plenty of energy into play. We're gonna be Gucci. We're gonna have three GXs into play. We're gonna get busted quadruple energy boost energy. I know. First time Riley ever come over to my house, he brought me cannolis and cannoli dip. It was so good. And he brought me Tupperwares and told me I could keep them. What a wholesome, what a wholesome house guest, honestly. It's very, very good. Uh, I agree with you, Anozi. You don't need utensils, especially if you're eating hot dogs, burritos, and tacos. I agree. And that pretty much my entire, you know, cuisine uh, just consists almost entirely of tacos. Oh, thank you, Ewok Chief. <laughs> Ewok Chief. I appreciate it for the spork fun. Yes, if I just see, I could throw away all my silverware if I just get. We're not throwing away two sporks no, we're not. that way i just have one main spork and a backup spork uh <laughs> just <laughs> 499 hello mosh jaff thank you if i messed up your name i appreciate it but thank you uh thank you mr uh, either mosh jaff or moshy jaffy i appreciate the donation thank you so much hello to you appreciate it thank you so much so i'm saying two sporks though we can really get by in life with only two sporks and i think you know if we just uh you know, we just go for a more simplified living. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Just a very simple life, right? Very simplified, you know, feeling of existence. That's kind of what I'm going for here. All right. So let's see. We want to like just knock out this thing. My opponent has got one, ma two Malamars in play. They're not knocking out a Guardi this turn. We need a lot, honestly. Honestly, chat, we need a lot. So we just need a lot here to get this knockout, but... I believe. So we're going to go here first, and then we're going to get ourselves a supporter. Thank you, Zach Attacks, for the donation. Unfortunately, I am not going to be able to make it to Memphis, guys. I'm really super bummed out about it, actually, but I'm not going to be able to make it. Let's, uh, ooh, I could judge my opponent. Oh, judge seems kind of busted, honestly. Yeah, let's judge my opponent here. That actually feels like better. I'm probably not getting the knockout here, so let's just like be kind of wholesome and just go for a judge. I'm going to limit my opponent's hand. They've got a huge hand. Not going to be able to make it to, oh, busted draws. Honestly, very good draws. That is good. Um, I kind of greedily want to trade away the Ralts, but I'm not going to do that. We're going to do that, and then let's just power draw away a fairy energy. And, yeah, let's, uh, let's get some draw action going on here. So we got DCE, Escape Rope. I don't think that I actually play any of those. So let's do three, six. I kind of am fine just like hitting it for like 60. I don't really want to go all in in case I get like max potion or something like that. So, oh, what's up, Daddy Cool? Thank you for the donation. Uh, go to UK Regionals. I actually don't think, let's just hit it for, and then I could, you know, I could throw more energy into play on this thing. I just don't, uh, three, let's see, three, Let's see. Actually, could I have gotten a knockout? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. No, I could not have. I was I was short. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. I was, I was 30 short. Okay, so I was short on that knockout there. So uh, I'm not misplaying here. So I'm just going to save the energy in my hand. I think I just want to like probably heal this next turn. So I'm just going to hit with infinite force. I could have uh, used that turn to twilight. That was probably would have been a better use of my resources there so yeah i should have just twilighted now that i'm thinking about it but i'm kind of like i'm trying to participate in the chat here so i'm very distracted right now let's see uh but come to uk regionals i'm really dying to go to a uk re uh regionals i would like love to i think that's my uh natalie and i might go to one in france right uh there's one in france in february and i think my family was talking about making a trip to france oh hell on uh chester Chist chichester chichester Helon Chichester, thank you for the donation, Mr. Helon, Mrs. Helon. Thank you. Appreciate it. But, uh, yes, I, my dream is to go to a UK event for sure. I wanted to go to London. Flights to London are actually kind of reasonable, but uh, they changed the location of the European uh, internats this year to Germany, and apparently those flights are much more expensive. So it's kind of a tough scenario either way you look at it. Uh, we're just kind of you know, kind of stuck and, uh, you know, trying to figure out a reasonable, uh, trying to go to a reasonable UK event. And I think there is this one in France, right, that, uh, that it's going to be happening. And my parents want to make a family trip to France. So that might happen at the end of February. So if you're going to that French regional at the end of February, I might be there, uh, which would be awesome. 
we actually we do know Tord. I know Tord. I was in uh, I was in top eight with Tord at the North American International Championships in 2017. So I did get to meet Tord there, uh, and I you know met him a couple times. So Tord seems like super legit guy, super nice guy, very good at the game. Uh, my opponent just got stuck. So you know, shout out to my opponent getting super stuck there. That was that was great. Uh, I should be cool here. I think I just uh, yeah, I'm just going to power draw away. Probably that escape rope there. And we're going to take a knockout on this thing. No problem. Uh, I have myself another Guardi, but I don't really want to get it into play right now because there's nothing that I really want to Ultra Ball away. Could get rid of the Lily and the Cynthia. I don't really need them at this point. Let's see, 3, 6, uh, 9, 12. Uh, I just said just 3, 6, 9, 12. That should get a knockout. So I think that my opponent's trying to build up for like a big one hit knockout here. 3, 6, 9, 12. Uh, and then plus the six. So we're good to go there. And then I think that, you know, we just super boost the Marshadow and knock that thing out. Uh, can I play Bonnet GX? Sure. I do have dinner. Natalie's cooking dinner, so I do need to make sure that I have uh, enough time for that. But uh, let's see. I think that I'm going to, I'm going to save my Secret Springs again because I don't want to just, uh, you know, I don't want to burn all my energy here just in case I do get that max, uh, that max potion play. So that's what we're kind of we're kind of waiting for there. Uh, that's that's kind of what we got going on. Dude, the super boost is honestly so busted in this deck. It is so good. The super boost energy is insane. So easy to get all of your you know three GXs in play. It's gonna be a little bit scary if my opponent can get the big uh, you know the big attack there with the uh, prismatic burst. If they can get that you know. Prismatic, which they I, and I, they just let that Necrozma sit up there. I definitely now, in like retrospect, uh, I don't know. In retrospect, I'm thinking maybe I should have saved up for the one-hit KO. But then also I'm investing more energy onto the Guardi. But then I also have more energy or I have more resources back in the deck. So it's kind of a tough call there, you know, as to as far as like do I just two-shot it or do I get the do I get the big, you know. Or do I go for the, uh, what am I talking about? Twilight GX. That's what I'm thinking. Do I go for Twilight GX? So they're potentially going down to two prizes here. Yeah, it looks like that's what they got going on. Though they will not be able to, unless they've got, oh, they could actually. They could go down to to knock out. Oh, I can actually, I can knock out the Marshadow with Swampert, bro. That is what we're doing. We're taking it out with Swampert. Let's go. Oh, we're going to knock out the Marshadow with Swampert. Let's get in there. All right. That'd be so good. And then my opponent, you know, won't have game and then I could just uh, go from there. So we're going to, we're going to go in with Swampert. That being said, I need to make sure that I have I need to make sure that I have my third guardian in deck. I don't know if it's in deck. So if it's not in deck, then we're just like stuck and it's really bad. So I do have Guzma though. So like we're cool here. Uh, one guardian in the discard pile. Let's ultra ball away. Honestly, Cynthia, who needs Cynthia? We don't We don't need Cynthia in this deck. Let's ultra ball those away. Uh, oh, it's not in here. It is prized. Oh, rip. Okay, so this is, this is actually really sad. So I think here we've got to go for... We've got Guzma in hand. How many Guzmas do we have? We have one Guzma left. Okay, we need to get ourselves a Lele. That's fine. Um, if they don't bench another NK, they need Guzma for game anyway. That's what I, I need to go knock out the... Uh, let's see here. I think I need another energy. I'm not going to be able to use the super boost here. Three, six. I need another energy desperately off of this, uh, off of this power draw here. So let's power draw away the lily that's fine so uh, i desperately need uh we did get another energy so that's very good uh oh but i can only excel i can only put two into play so i needed a dce oh my gosh this is horrible so i think that oh we're just in a kind of bad situation all right busted deck seems to be petering out here uh <laughs> this is pretty horrible so I think that, because uh, yeah, if they go energy, energy, they could just Guzma for game. We're stuck. We needed that last Guardi to be in the deck, but she is prized. We could do three, six. We just, uh, we have to Twilight this turn. So that's just unfortunate. So let's bring up the, uh, sure, let's bring up that. And then we're just going to Twilight. It's just what we got to do. So that's just uh, unfortunate, but uh, that's the way it goes sometimes. So we'll do that. We'll do that. And then if they just have Guzma, they have Guzma. We have to Twilight. We should have Twilighted earlier 
honestly, but like that's that's fine. I was a little distracted. So unfortunately, this is one of the constellations of the deck. We're only playing three copies of Cardivore GX, so that is a little bit rough, honestly. And we're kind of seeing, you know, that the worst of that happen here. Let's get all the energy back in. Let's get that judge back in. Let's get another Guzma back in. And then let's also get ourselves a, another Ralts. Sure. Let's get ourselves another Ralts back into the deck as well. And uh, yeah, we're kind of just going to rock with that. Okay. Let's throw all those things back into the deck and see how it goes. You know, if they've just got, if they've got Guzma, they've got Guzma. If they don't, then maybe we're Gucci. We'll see. So if they got, let's see, they need Guzma energy. So they need to throw two energy in the discard pile. I'm, I'm assuming that they'll just, uh, it did get bad fast. We needed, desperately, we needed to have that other Guardian deck. I kind of was anticipating, uh, I was kind of anticipating that Guardian just being there, um, but it just wasn't. I was like, with three, I was like, what are the odds that it's in our final three prizes? That, uh, you know, that just seemed fine, but then it just wasn't, right? They did take big one-hit knockouts on my Sylveon and also, oh no, get that thing out of here. What is that thing doing here? So that's... I don't know. How many Guzman they got in the discard? One. Oh, they totally have it. Quit roll quit slow rolling me, bro. Uh they where are they going with them psychic recharges? Come on. Come on. What do you got? Don't do me like this. So I know. Time to add Gladian. If I had Gladian, it would have been Gucci, right? No, I don't think so. Yeah, they're putting the energy on the Marshadow. Don't do me like that, man. Come on. Come on. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, I feel like they're taking the longest time possible to do this, to do the psychic recharge onto the Mars Shadow. Don't do me like that, bro. Oh, they're, they don't have it. They don't have it. Oh, they don't have it. They don't have it. They don't have it. They don't have it. So uh, they got an escape board. They just, uh, they're just going to pass. I think they just ain't got it like that. They <laughs> just don't have it like that at all. Okay, so if I knock out, here's the deal, though. If I knock out... Uh, they had like nothing. What in the world? How could they just have so little of anything in their hand? Uh, I just need to, I think I need to trade, I need to power draw here first and then see what they got going on. I think that they're just, what in the world are they prepping for? So if they t attach and then psychic recharge one time, then they're only doing 180 to my active. They didn't have Guzma last turn. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Riley is stunned. I am stunned as well. I don't really know what they got going on in that hand of theirs. I think knocking out a Malamar is like my best shot at ensuring that they don't have game. Um, because if I Guzma this turn, that's just bad. So three, six, nine. And that way I, uh, I don't have my... And I could super boost knock out the... That would be cool, but I just I don't really have that. I didn't get my GX there uh, off of the trade there, so I can't really knock it out with the. I would love to knock out with the Swamper, but I think like at this point, we're like, okay, whatever. You either got it or you don't. I don't know. Let's Nest Ball. Let's thin the deck one more card. Let's just get another Ralts out. Sure. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So at this point, I've got a bunch of, you know, I've got a bunch of liabilities on my bench. Three, six, nine. Yep. Yeah, make sure I'm not miscounting that. Yep, busted. Infinite Force. Let's go. So uh, we're just going to hope that my opponent somehow got themselves into a board state where they don't win here. That's the hope, right? Is that somehow, uh, but if they, if they just have, I'm going to be very salty. Oh, maybe they just had, uh, maybe they have Lele for Guzma for game. Uh, I think that like judging by like the acceleration to the Mars Shadow, it kind of seems like that's like what they have here. So maybe I should have, yeah. Oh, they, just, no, they have it. <laughs> Why were they just pump faking me like that? I don't know. They just, apparently they just had it like that. So it doesn't really matter. If I had like Guzma and knocked out the Mars Shadow, then they could have just, uh, they could have GX'd me. Uh, they just had Guzma and they had Guzma energy in their hand. Uh, they, t they totally had that last turn. Uh, I don't know why I didn't mean to click play. It's actually Natalie. Is dinner ready? Yeah, it's about. All right, dinner is ready, guys. So I gotta go for dinner. Uh, also, uh, just going to uh, thank you guys all so much for hanging out in the chat tonight. It's been a blast. Had a great time streaming. I'm gonna be streaming some more. So you know, make sure to check out. I'd like to stream at least once a week here, uh, and then I would like to stream more going into the future. You know, once I get my whole studio moved, I'm getting a uh, 
moved my studio, so we're gonna have a new location as well. And I did promise throw Vanette. I know, but dinner's ready. I can't let Natalie. I can't let Natalie's dinner get cold, and it takes me forever to play Zorark uh, Vanette. So, uh, for I'm gonna write it down on my notepad. I'm gonna start out with Zorark Vanette next time. I do owe you a video on it. I'll do a video on Zoro Bennett. How's that? I think that's a nice. Uh, uh, I think that's a nice compromise. Uh, but yes, definitely can't uh, can't let Natalie's dinner go cold. So we're going to play Zoro Bennett. I'll do a video on it. So uh, that way you guys can see. Uh, I'm gonna play with Xander's top four list. I'll show off Xander's top four list in case you want to see it real quick. Uh, appreciate everybody that hung out on the stream. It was a great time. Really appreciate all the donations, all the help. Uh, really, really makes a difference. So thank you guys so much. I and mean, it's definitely a grinder coming home from, uh, I literally like got home from work and like napped for 30 minutes because I felt like I was about to die and then hopped on here. And so like, you know, these days can be long, but I really appreciate it. You guys all make it so worth it. And I really, really appreciate all the support and encouragement. It really goes a long way. I will make sure to wash the spoons. So thank you so much for reminding me. And, uh, and yeah, so you guys all have a great night, great day, great morning, wherever you are coming from. Thank you so much uh, for watching the stream. And I hope you all, uh, you know, play well and uh, have a great night. Peace.